Hello and welcome to session number 56 of Outlander's Guide to Lidoria. Hello, everyone. Hello. 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 Hi. I hope that uh, your life is currently full of warmth uh, and potential pets, uh, perhaps residing upon your laps. Uh, let me bloop, bring you into our table. Welcome, welcome. I think, yes, Matt, you're the chosen one. I am. How do you feel about this? Uh, good. I'm uh, I'm a little super sleepy today. I've been at work since 4:30 in the morning, oh, so sleepy uh, It's probably a less <laughs> less energetic one, but it, it's a recap all the same. That's quite all right. You take the megaphone. That's what I have today. Oh. To, okay. to compensate uh, for okay. for the lack second. of energy. I have a megaphone. Give me a second. Oh dear. Oh no. What have I done? <laughs> Regret. Regret is setting in. Oh, maybe I... <laughs> I thought I did. <laughs> Have we been spared? Oh, here we go. <laughs> oh, no. Not looking to do that, that'd be obnoxious. Uh, <laughs> but in the event that I need a megaphone... Okay. Uh, in, in the event uh, yeah, I need uh, a last megaphone... Last time... <laughs> The, my magical megaphone, also known as the horn of thaumaturgy. <laughs> uh, but anyways, at the start of last session, uh, we found ourselves in a uh, in a weird location with incomprehensible gravity, uh, with the sea miles above, past the sky. Uh, weirdly enough, uh, the professor then shortly after discovers a tiny cat-sized crystal dragon rustling around in some brush nearby that promptly dives into his arms like a sharp ferret. Uh, licking his face with a sizzling heat. Uh, Virian then discovers a door that leads in to whatever place we are on, in, at, uh, while the Dragonling and the Tressum take turns tossing around Squeak's cage, uh, with the group <laughs> ignoring all of Squeak's pleas. Uh, then approaching the door, the little dragon gets bored uh, with the now playing dead Squeak and noses the door open. Uh, with the professor managing to hook his holy amulet onto its tail with the light cantrip so we can follow it, uh, which we do. And after adjusting to the nonsensical gravity, we were met uh, with a chamber with statues of dragons and an open gap in the floor with a seemingly endless expanse of stars and space and nothing. Uh, Virian then finds a button on a dragon statue and impulsively presses it, as you do. Uh, causing a mysterious light to drift us to the side of the room uh, as the room seems to rotate and us with it. Uh, after exploring the room more and staring out into space, Pip reorients us uh, with another button press, as you do, uh, and we continued onwards. Uh, and we continue to a room of inverting dragon statue puzzles with three locks on a door, as well as three forbidden bouillon cubes of various flavors, <laughs> uh, spicy, minty, and zesty, as I called them, uh, which Pip and Pontifex collect samples of in vials before squaring up to fight them. Uh, after a few seconds of combat with the jiggling gelatins, uh, Pip is engulfed, knocked unconscious, uh, revives himself spontaneously, and turns into an armor boss too. <laughs> Uh, that, that was really just the highlights of the whole combat, honestly. Uh, I know someone dove through one of them, but <laughs> hard to live up to whatever that was. Uh, <laughs> combat then ends with the puddings turned into puddles uh, by the Wub Wub uh, and the elemental rain doing its fair share of damage, uh, namely all of it. Uh, the group takes the keys to the door with the professor taking special care to ferry the dragon lang through the danger. Uh, while Arma Bastu Pip does the same with the rest of the party, and then eventually the old man and company. And then after crossing the dangerous terrain, uh, the group stops to catch their breath, uh, with the professor clutching the dragon, who he has named Talix, uh, entirely not jokingly, uh, clutching it to his chest until it uh, gives up fighting and starts to nap. 
<laughs> talks about the entire experience being a dream or had, and the professor and Virian discuss the nature of stars, sextants, astrolabes, and the philosophies of navigation, uh, both nautical and metaphysical, uh, while Pippa Bostu and Brooke discuss the nature of being apes. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't be the first time. Wouldn't be the first time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, you, was, touched, you touched upon a, an inside joke that you don't know about somehow. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> All right, six year old your... inside joke. Yeah, whoa. <laughs> We've been playing D&D for a long time. Uh, have your dragon inspiration over here. I officially named the, 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 the little mini dragon Talix. For your joy. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. Um, but before we resume where we left off, uh, uh, we have a very small matter uh, to attend to. Mm -hmm. Because, Pip, uh, when you are enveloped by one of the uh, bouillon cubes, <laughs> Uh, your, your skin burning and you can't breathe and you can't keep your eyes open. Um, you feel Viren grabbing your arm and you inhale suddenly and deeply and the air is clean now and your pain is gone and it's not Viren who is standing by your side. It's a different elf. One whose skin is a shade more purple than Pontifex's. Uh, a man without a single scar on his face or his hands is very distinctively free from any signs of a difficult life well lived in a way that feels simultaneously unnatural but also regal. His straight white hair cascades down his shoulders as, and is only inches away from your face since he's leaning down over you, just staring intently at you. Uh, he says, You are a small godling. And he lets go of your arm. You are in what seems to be a circular library built across two floors. The walls are lined with shelves filled with books and metal contraptions. There is a very large blue cube spinning in the center that seems to be made of light or perhaps some kind of bright illusion. It's a main source of light in here and it hurts your eyes to look at it. What would you like to do? Um... Pip tries to speak. Does anything come out? No. The news around your, your neck is still present, uh, and it's as tight as ever. Just letting this sort of gasp of air escape his lungs. <sighs> he looks up towards the drow, and his head sort of tilts quizzically, and eyes squint, looking up at this figure. He tries to touch him. Uh, you extend a hand to touch the elf? Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, you do. What part of his body are you reaching for? Like his robes. Yeah. Uh, they are They are beautiful. They are these... Uh, um, he's just draped in these flowing, fancy silks that are made of a material you've never seen before. Uh, it reminds you a little bit of uh, um, what some Etara work with, the Etara Philly, uh, the material that of the tent that Talix had bought a while back. It shifts and, and uh, uh, shimmers and reflects the light in a beautiful way, but it feels very, very soft and smooth under your fingers. The elf raises an eyebrow. Pip, um... Is Pip in a, in a cage? No. No? You're just in just this, sort of in this in room. in this space. Mm -hmm. Um, not sure how long he's going to be here. Pip, Let's go of the figure, um, and just, like, looks around the room a little bit. Are there any titles on these books? Hmm, uh, 
Yes. Yes, there are. Um, every single book has uh, on the cover and on the the, 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 the back side of it um, all these symbols that to Pip make no sense. It's not a script that he's familiar with. Um, it doesn't really look like anything uh, that Pip has seen before. Uh, but the books come in all sizes and colors and some of them are not even square shaped. Mm. None of them are any language he can read or understand. Uh, not just not just the language, but the script itself. He can't mm. even read a single letters. Okay. Uh, Pip was, like, searching for something he could use words to point at in order to find some way to communicate with this person. Mm. Um, but seeing that that's no longer an option just turns back at this figure and Pip's going to try and pull out a piece of his own hair and hand it to him. You remove a strand of your hair and you uh, you extend your hand to hand it over. Um, the the elf looked kind of bored. Um, like you were the only interesting thing in the room, um, and uh, it, it does look like his curiosity is is sparked at this. Um, he makes eye contact again and then looks down uh, at your hand and uh, takes the strand of hair. You're the drow. I've heard about you. I've never heard of you. You speak in my mm. mind. This one is new. Am I dying? It is my understanding that you are. That all happened so fast. Would you like to speak of how it happened? Um, he sits down. And you could have sworn there was nothing behind him to actually sit on until a moment ago, but now there is a couch. It's made of gold with red cushions. It actually looks more like a throne than a couch. Uh, he puts his elbow, he, he rests his elbow and puts his chin on his hand and he's looking. I don't, I don't really know where we are or, or where we were. There are these big, wobbly gel monsters, and oh, it hurt. It hurts so bad. It doesn't hurt here. Pain is not something I can say I have experienced. Perhaps it is not possible in here. You never felt pain? There are few things I can feel. Boredom, mainly. So this is... your world? It is all I've ever known. But I you see can glimpses of yours. Work? He, like, he leans back on his chair. Um, um, a really neat inside check. Okay. Eight. Okay. Uh, he just leans back on his chair, like he's adjusting his position a little bit, and like the, he doesn't have a whole lot of interest uh, um, in the direction the conversation is currently going. And he does a bit of a dismissive gesture and says, Yes, I can do whatever I want, except leaving. How are you so bored if you can make anything you want? Spells 
spend enough time in this place and eventually you run out of things to do. How long have you been here? For as long as I can remember. But why am I answering questions? I want to hear about you. Why do you speak in this unusual manner? That's all I can do. Pip just sort of pulls down on his scarf, revealing the noose underneath. Why do you wear such a thing? I messed up. I said things I shouldn't have, and Granny made it to where I couldn't say him again. Why do you not take it off? I can't. I've tried. <laughs> Why can't a godling just do anything he wants? Let me show you. He stands up, approaches you. He extends uh, a hand, slides an index finger between the nose and your neck. You've never been able to put anything between the two of them. It's just too tight, but he does so effortlessly. And he tugs on it, and you wake up. With that, we go back to the present. Oh, oh God, the first thing I should do is turn into a giant monkey. <laughs> <laughs> I could do anything. <laughs> Let me bring you back. Is this the room that you were in? I think this was the one. Yeah, well, there's still the... Ah, I'll just clear it. You know where you are. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, you have unlocked the uh, the door guarded by uh, those uh, funny little weird beings, the cubes. Uh, and you are all gathered to just rest up. Uh, if you haven't already, your short rest is successful. You can conclude it. You can roll your hit dice and uh, um, prepare for what lies ahead. I rolled all my hit dice, and I'm still not at full HP. Oh no! Same. <laughs> I am actually cold. Stop wiggling. So Pip turns back into his typical form. Mm -hmm. Yep, at the end of your short rest, as you're like resting on Brook's lap, and just gently uh, no, crushing other way him. Around. Okay. <laughs> So when you turn back, you have runs. you have broken yeah. your lap. Wished by my Wade. <laughs> what a strange feeling to be taller than Brook. Bastu is just like picking stuff out of Brook's hair. <laughs> <laughs> Good news! I rolled all my hit dice and I am at full. I rolled up. Uh... About half of them and overshot it. Oh, lucky. I rolled pretty bad. Uh, though I am going to use my, uh, my arcane recovery and get spell slots back. I will also get a spell slot back. Everyone. Just for being me. <laughs> Just for being me. Everyone is uh, uh, recovering, resting up your legs, uh, bandaging up your wounds. Um, the 
the little uh, Talix, uh, the dragon, tries a couple of times to leave Pontifex's lap, no. but is <laughs> prevented <laughs> from, from doing so. Um, the only one who is missing is uh, the Tressim. Oh, you mean dead. Dead, <laughs> quotation marks. Yeah. She got poofed. Poof. She was so brave. Honest, she's not worth the gold, so. I have a new friend. Natalix has been replaced not once, but twice. <laughs> Good times. Yeah. Do you plan on taking him with you? I don't plan on not taking him with me. <laughs> huh. Well, we'll see about that. Does everyone rest I it up? I think I have uh, imprinted on it. How so? Uh, I love it. <laughs> Isn't imprinting what the baby thing usually does? To yeah, right. The baby usually imprints on things, but I feel like in this case, I have imprinted upon it. So you're the baby. That... <laughs> you know, love works in mysterious ways. I don't claim to be a master of it. More like a journeyman. That was a joke. <laughs> Thank you for the pity laughs. We'll, we'll work on the delivery. Is it is that the baby joke? It's, but it, you know what? Yes, yes, it is. Yours are better than mine. <laughs> <laughs> that one was not a joke. Why? Why are you laughing? I don't understand comedy. <laughs> we'll work on it once we're out of this um uh, situation. We're all um, as rested up as we can be, I think. Um, seems that, uh, well, one way to go. Three locks, three keys. <sighs> when, Pip is, when Pip is back in his natural form, um, he looks around to make sure no one's looking and then he just tries to sneak a finger up through his scarf and tries to see if he can put it between his noose and his neck. He cannot. Just grumpily puts his arms to his side. Squeezes out from under Brook. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I guess that's a sign that we're ready to pick up, huh? <laughs> Brook, you basically fell like a couple of feet from your sitting position when Pip reverted from uh, from an armor buster to to his normal child size. Yep, that's definitely a sign we're supposed to go on. Oh. <laughs> Okay. All right, I got a key. Varian got a key. Who has the third key? I think Varian also has the third key. Oh. Mm -hmm. She has two key. keys and squeak. <laughs> two keys and a squeak. You have a key. <laughs> nice. <laughs> squeak seems quite all right in your company, Varian. Yeah. And she'll just tuck him under her arm. Carry him like a watermelon. <laughs> oh. oh. Huh. Nice. <laughs> this is pleasant. <laughs> okay. Or yeah. like a sports ball. You could throw me. Do you want me to? Not yet. Okay, just uh, <laughs> save say, it. Say the, save it. Say the yeah. word. <laughs> Ready to unlock the door? Yep, I believe so. Okay. Um, the locks are color-coded to match the keys. Um, 
one after the other, you unlock them. And uh, um, the door is kind of heavy. Um, it takes a couple of you to, to get it to open, but uh, you just push on it until it does. Um, on the other side is a significantly smaller room, kind of cramped, in fact. Um, it's only sparsely furnished with a few stone benches lining the walls and a single torch flickering in a sconce on the far wall. The air is cool and musty and the tiles between your f uh, uh, under your feet creak and shift out of place as you walk in. Uh, ahead of you, <clears throat> there are <clears throat> Excuse me. Ahead of you, there are two more doors. They're made of smooth, unyielding stone, but they are completely featureless, with no visible hinges or handles to indicate how they might be opened. In fact, they look more like sculptures of doors rather than actual passageways. Uh, on the door on the left, you see an imprint of a left hand. And on the door, on the door on the right, you see an imprint of a right hand. How far apart are they from each other? Um, about uh, like the full length of the wall, which is twenty feet. There is only one way forward, and Tech will start moving towards the left door. Okay. Huh. It follows him. Brooke will then move to the right door. Left, left, right. I mean this from my perspective. <laughs> what about Virin and Pontifex? I think Virin would probably tag along with Brooke. Mm -hmm. But then look at Squeak, and then look at Pip, and uh, would you rather go with him? No. Oh. All right, uh, you're with us then. <laughs> Pip, are you not on speaking terms? Hmm? With Squeak. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hmm. Then Tech will <laughs> just shrug. <laughs> <laughs> okay. On my mark. All right. Three, ready. two, one, go. And yeah, Tech will press his hand towards the imprint. Same for Brooke. Okay. Tekka, when you put your hand on the door, uh, that imprint uh, shines with its beautiful bright blue light. Uh, Brooke, you put your your right hand on the imprint uh, on the right door, and uh, your your door it flickers with a red light and then it turns off, and so so does yours, Tekka. The door reacts to us, but it will not let us pass. Maybe the right people have to put their hands in? Um, one way to find out. Uh, Virian will go to touch the door and then just kind of wait and, uh, wh whenever you're ready over there. Teacher, are you willing to try? Hey, uh, not not willing as long as it only takes one hand, and uh, the other one is occupied. <laughs> You'll be fine. And take yeah. those upside. I bet the it only dragon reacts trails. to really old people. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if it does, that's a valid theory. Uh, so it's Pontifex and uh, Virion? I believe so, yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Virion, you, <laughs> you count down, um, and then Pontifex, you put your left hand on the left imprint, and the door 
uh, shines with its blue light. Virion, you touch with your right hand the right door and it shines with a red light. Uh, both of them, both of the lights pulsate uh, in sync. Uh, and then both of you are gently pulled into the stone uh, and you both disappear on the other side. <laughs> Whoa, no, no, no! What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Uh, I don't like this anymore. <laughs> uh, the, <laughs> the, the, the dragon shrills with enthusiasm and uh, um, is pulled in with you and the squeak goes in with Varian similarly. Although maybe okay, less enthusiastically. <laughs> I was right! <laughs> it seems that way. Uh, we'll get to the two of you later. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Tekla okay. is just going to slam against the door here. Teacher! Teacher! The door is solid. Old people adventure. <laughs> <laughs> what is this place? Mm -hmm. Can I knock on the door to see if there is, like, I don't know, space behind it, sound-wise? Uh, yeah, when you... Mm. The roll a perception check. Ooh, just to get an idea of how sick the wall is. Perception. Well, mm. well, you can tell that it's pretty thick. Um, you don't really hear like an echo. Like th there is no indication of an empty space on the other side. Uh, that's all you can tell. Even if it works for two of us, one is left behind. That is not an option. It, there is a chance that I can get through the store unless it's like an like a magical teleportation. This does not like. seem natural to me. Well, we can't really leave them by themselves, right? No. Pip, will you try the left side? Mm. Mm-hmm. Just looks and waits for someone else. I've tried the right door before, but sure. No already up. Um so Brook and Pip? Mm -hmm. Mm hmm Okay, Brook, you count down for, for the two of you. Uh Pip, when you put your left hand on the door, it shines with this beautiful light, and the moment that Brook puts his hand on his door, uh the red light flickers and goes away. And then so does yours, Pip. I'm starting to feel like it's a meat problem. <laughs> Tekka, do you want to come over here? <sighs> Fine. If it works for the two of us, try to hold on to me. Maybe you can pass along side. All right. I'll hold on to Tekka. Okay. If I lose uh. my arm. Decca, <laughs> <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> you count down uh, for you and Pip. Pip, blue light on the door when you touch it. Tekka, a red glow on your door when you put your right hand on it, which doesn't flicker or fade away. It just stays there and it pulsates with the other one. And both of you are pulled somewhere into the stone. Uh, Brooke, you hold on to Tekka's arm as hard as you can, and he just slips beyond your grasp. Poor Brooke. <laughs> well, <clears throat> I go to the left door. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I try my left hand. You put your left hand on the door, and 
the blue light, <clears throat> it comes to life and it flickers <laughs> really fast. <laughs> <laughs> it flickers and it pulsates and flickers again and um, both of the doors are glowing now on their own. Uh, it doesn't seem like things are normal. The light comes and goes and they're not quite in sync and then you're just drawn into the stone. What? Uh, so, for each uh, duo, uh, Pontifex and uh, Virion, um, you each emerged into a hem an empty stone hallway. Uh, each of you on your own, not seeing the others, just in separate places. <clears throat> Pontifex, you have a blue band around your left wrist. And Viren, you have a, a red one around your right wrist. <clears throat> um, it takes about... Uh, your Talix and, and the, your squeak um, are unchanged. It takes about a minute before Pontifex is joined by Pip, who similarly has a blue band on his left wrist. Uh, and Viren is joined by Tekka with a red band on his. Ha! Huh. Twinsies. <laughs> And a little while after, Brooke shows up with you guys. Brooke, you have a left, uh, you have a, 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 a blue band on your left wrist and a red one on your right. Okay. Well, look at you, Mr. Special. <laughs> you won't expect, you won't guess what happened. I stretched my arms really long. And touch both doors at once. Yeah, I know what you oh. uh, fur bollocks can do. Oh. It's a special trick that only works when nobody else looks. <laughs> it closes his eyes and tries to stretch Brooke's arms. The way that I see you cut yourself sometimes when we fight, uh, it makes me think you almost lopped off your other arm and just kind of whawed it across the room. But uh, <laughs> that is improbable. <laughs> That's why I'm wearing the bandages. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that you can tie them back on. Yep. <laughs> I'm onto your tricks. Yep. <laughs> Blood Hunter did next level. <laughs> <laughs> um, for each group, there's really nothing left to do but to walk forward. The way you just came from is just a a solid stone wall. Can we see the other party? No. Oh. Hip can, can, maybe. Ah, what well. If? True. <laughs> uh, so I was actually going to say that probably within like, you know, a couple minutes of Becca showing up, uh, everyone would, you know, pick up Squeak's cage and uh, you, you can uh, speak with, with Pip, uh, I know you have some sort of connection with him. Are you able to speak with him now? Yeah, let me try. <clears throat> hey, stupid kid. Can you hear me? Hey, uh, you can uh, talk to Squeak, right? You have like some sort of <laughs> mental connection or something. Yeah, yeah. Hey, let me try. <laughs> He says in his mind because he can't talk to Pontifex. Mm -hmm. uh, so what are the limitations? Hey, friend, of, how uh, are you? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> hold on. What are the limitations of your the, the familiar thing? Uh, as long as it's on the same plane of existence. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> it's pretty <laughs> definitive. <laughs> You're still um, communicating. Yeah, so... Um, hey! Um, w could you, like... Hey, as we're traveling through this place, could you just, like, keep keep telling me through your brain, like, what's going on on your side, and then I'll <laughs> do the same for you? Yeah, 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 I'll do that. And then he, he says to Virian, it would be really funny if I just, like, told him stuff that wasn't happening <laughs> at all. <laughs> I, we just sound like it was just really cool, and everything over here was wonderful and amazing, and definitely was not a plainstone hallway. Oh, t 
Tekka just uh, uh, flew in on his wings. He just grew wings and, you know. Yes, uh, I'm sure that they will definitely appreciate that and won't have any words for us when we're out of here. Pip tells him how I have two colored bands and how I stretched my arms really long. Okay. <laughs> Pip does so. <laughs> Damn it, he had the same idea. <laughs> <laughs> we're bullshitting each other. <laughs> But if I call him on his bullshit, he'll know I'm bullshitting. <laughs> I say we both commit. <laughs> you know that means that we have to keep coming with more elaborate lies, and then it's never gone poorly for anyone. I don't know, it's pretty fun for a devil. The sarcasm. Um, oh. It's, it's fine, we'll work on the delivery later. Um, um, okay. Uh, more baby jokes. <laughs> All right, let's go. You, okay. you gotta, you gotta go. I, I can't move. Yeah. <laughs> let's go. Yeah. Each group uh, begins to walk forward. Uh, you can see further up ahead. This applies to both of you, both of your groups. Uh, that the hallway gently begins to twist on its side until the floor becomes the wall, and the walls become the floor and the ceiling. With gravity slowly shifting to keep you from falling. Uh, you're pretty sure based on on how it's twisting that uh, you are now standing sideways compared to the previous chamber uh, eventually you reach the next room uh, move your move your tokens out of here <clears throat> um, it's a dusty chamber with walls made of rough stone uh, the air is Thick with the scent of must, and you can see weeds and vines growing up through cracks in the floor and walls. Uh, besides a door at the end of the room and the familiar statue of a dragon, you don't spot much of note, uh, at least until you look up. You can see that the ceiling is a mirror of your room, with the same door and the same statue and the rest of your party. One of your groups is on the ceiling and the other is on the floor, the, from... Your perspective, all of you feel feel like you're the ones on the ground, and the other half of the party is the one on the ceiling. Um, now I can't actually have your minis be upside down, so I've just put the two, like the floor and the ceiling, side by side. <laughs> cool. Um, the is this going to work, or are the minis just going to all slide towards the it, middle? Uh, it, uh, I have taken precautions; it will not slide. Um, nice. Blue team is over here, arriving from behind the statue. And I'm red team is here. Uh, Brooke is with uh, the blue team. Oh, okay. Like this. Uh, I'm gonna so, play dodgeball. <laughs> so when this group looks up, they see this. And when you guys look up, you see that. Um... Uh, so, what would you like to do? <laughs> hey, what are y'all doing on the ceiling? No, what are you doing on the ceiling? No, you're on the ceiling. No, you're... Oh, I see what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> it's the gravity thing. Uh, Tekka will try walking on the wall. If that's possible, to see if like gravity will shift. Uh, it doesn't. You put your foot on it, and it just slides back down when you try to put any weight on it. Fair. If uh, you know, patterns emerge and everything, uh, I'm sure there's just like a very convenient button on this dragon that seems to be our luck. In the same place. There's a very convenient button on this dragon. On both sides? On mm -hmm. both dragons? <laughs> one is on the face, one is on the butt. <laughs> <laughs> Are we the butt or the face? It's it's both in their hands. Oh. They but like is an his extended... hand on its face or its butt? No! 
They're extending a hand forward. It's like they're offering the button. Mm. Did you find the button? The button. Ooh. So I'm ready to push this, but last time you yelled at me if I pushed it without saying anything first, so <laughs> I'm saying something first. It seems this moon is forcing us to play. So then we play. Push it! And what if it turns off the thing and then the, the floor becomes the ceiling and ceiling becomes floor and we both fall? I mean, that seems to be the situation already, so I think we're fine. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, oh, wait, no, what am I talking about? I'm a wizard. I can just fix it. Go for it. Push. Viren is pushing the button? Yep. Okay. Um... The light breath of this statue scoops you up, Virion. Uh, at the same time this is happening, uh, Pontifex, uh, nobody touched the button on your statue yet, but the statue comes to life and breathes light upon you, and both of you are dragged to the ceiling and effectively change oh. places. Whoa. Oh. Teacher, you are safe. <laughs> what? Wait, is my boy with me? <laughs> you're, you're holding Talix, so yes. Okay, still good. Uh, wait, uh, Brooke, press the button. Dish. What happens? Do you get, like, ripped in half? <laughs> I don't see. I'll press the button. I <laughs> 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 so I got both in the first place. Yay, science! <laughs> <laughs> Brook is actually comprised of a left furrow bog and a right furrow bog that have just been working together like a horse costume. <laughs> um, Brook, the light scoops you up and takes you up here. Oh. Your arms are both still attached. <laughs> For now. Oh, hey, now uh, papers with squeak, that's probably great. Are the buttons on the outstretched hands, are they the both right hand outstretched, both left hand outstretched, one of each? For both of them, it's the right hand. Okay. I mean, we can keep pressing this button all day, I mean. I think, I hope. Maybe have limited uses. Hmm. So, um, remind me what we're looking at here with this wall. Is um, there a space between? <laughs> <laughs> Imagine just a wall like being, you know, it's almost a square room. Um, the wall seems mostly featureless. There is a door in the middle of it. Uh, that applies to this wall as well. There's a door here. Okay. I think Pip might just go up and try the door. Okay. You go up to the door and like you, you hear a little crunching under your feet and, and you look down and you, you stepped on a key. Oh. <laughs> How convenient. Pip picks up the key. Mm -hmm. And then tries the door. The door doesn't open. It appears to be locked. Huh. Oh! Pip will try the key. <laughs> <laughs> you try the key. Some sort of key. It doesn't work. Ah. It's not the right fit. Ah. Um, Tekka, you're also... <laughs> <Toss it around. laughs> Tekka, you're also approaching the door over here. Yeah. <clears throat> you you have a similar experience where you... Um, you almost step on a key, you spot it first. Pick it up, try the door, it's locked. Try the key, doesn't work. Question. These... Are these, like, a big mega keys, like before? Uh, no, they're more normal uh, sized. Okay, about what's the distance between the two parties, vertically? Between the floor and the ceiling? Yeah. Um, about 20 feet? 30 feet? No, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Sorry. I'm Who's estimating, careful? but I, ha I have an actual <laughs> I have an actual number. I just I have tightly look at my notes. Ah, uh, 20. Hey, uh. I think maybe we should uh, switch it. I can, uh, I can just... This is easy. <laughs> I'm gonna make mage hand. 
Pip does the same thing, but without a hand. Just the key hovers <laughs> up. Okay. Great. The two of you just swap, key, swap keys between the groups. Yeah. There um, you go. And I'll, I'll hand it over to Tekka. Whoop, whoop. Mm-hmm. Tekka, you tried a key and this one fits. Oh, no. You don't have to move. Mage hand. <laughs> <laughs> Tekka, key flies towards you. You grasp it and you try it in the door and it opens. Tape, you tried a newly uh-huh. acquired door and it's proper fit. <laughs> I'm just going to delete the wall. Here you go. Let me in. <laughs> just, just pretend that there is a wall here. Uh, this is from the side of the fireplace. Perfect. This is marvelous, high production quality. Um. So, when each of you open the doors, you see that the it, it almost feels like this is a continuation of the previous room. Um in the sense that it's very similar, similar shape, still a statue of a dragon over here. Um, each of your groups seeing that there is multiple um, stalactites or stalagmites, depending on which side you're looking at, um, which makes it a little bit harder to walk around, but there's enough space between them where you can just uh, easily uh, step past them. You see another door uh, on the opposite side, uh, for both groups. Is It'll there a key incredibly... on the ground again? Is there what? A key. Um, not where you are? Okay, let me let me stop both of you. Um, yes. Viren and Brooke. Uh, okay. as, uh, yeah, you're looking down for a key, uh, and instead what you see is something grabbing you. Uh-oh. Um, oh, what? One on each side, one of the stalactites slash stalagmites um, grabs you. It just bends over, um, being surprisingly um, flexible for something that should be made of stone, um, and just wraps itself around your ankles. And we're going to roll initiative. Oh, fun! Oh, dear God. <laughs> ah! Heart smasher and skull smasher. Uh, How did I, I not see that face I'm in not... the stalactite? I know a person with a wyvern that would get along with you. Um, I'm not sure which one I'd prefer. <laughs> Wait a second, do they not have their thing? Ah, oh, their thing is inset. Hold on, I need to kidnap them. Back. Yeah, much better. Maybe. Somebody oh. didn't set the proper settings. I haven't done it yet. I'm sorry. I'm slow. Oh no, I'm I'm singing about myself. Oh, <laughs> it wasn't me. <laughs> no, 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 it was me. I didn't I didn't set the meanings so that they wouldn't like fall. Boop, 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 boop. Yes, excellent. This one, I'm kidnapping it and I'm putting it over here. And it's gonna smash some skulls. I hope. It's, yeah. it's going. <laughs> boop, 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 boop. Yes, excellent. Okay, more like here. All right. Yeah. For some reason, I'm like immediately attributing the voices of Siegfried and Roy to both of these things. We're here to smash you up. Mm. Mm. I, I, I picture the Paradox Brothers from Yu Gi Oh! Small problem, my initiative script isn't working. I'm Heart Smasher. I'm yeah. Skull Smasher. <laughs> Together. <laughs> Let me see if... We are Smasher Smasher. Uh-oh. 
All right, one of you is broken. Who's broken? Is it the uh, the dragon? It's me. I'm broken. Could be the dragon. I'm just <laughs> stacking things on Jory's table. That's fine. Not the dragon. Let me see if it's you guys. Ugh. No. Okay. We have, we have it down to three suspects. <laughs> Everything that goes on the table belongs to me now, just to let you know. Okay. It's one of you. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> it's a whodunit mystery. <laughs> it's squeak okay. being mischievous. Why, why is it Virion? What's wrong with Virion? I mean, a lot of things, but... One thing I could think of is I accidentally hit the initiative mod instead of value once, but um, you rolled a twenty on your initiative. I did. Okay, well everything is fine here. Literally, I've got no idea. I just cleared your initiative and put it back. Well, I guess Joey dies. At the end, sorry. New character. <laughs> One that works. <laughs> sorry, my character is busted. One that's right. gainfully employed. I think we got it. Marvelous. It's gonna go... Uh, hey, we did it! Okay, hey. Virion, starting with you, um, you're currently restrained. Cool, love that. And that is just, uh, movement zero, right? Movement zero, disadvantage on attacks, advantage against being attacked. Okay. Disadvantage on deck saves. Yeah, that. As well. Scrapple plus. All right. Uh, yeah, I'll do it. Um, I think we're just gonna bonus action and bamf down to the ground, just out of its mm -hmm. grip. Oh, wait! I forgot the grid. I'm so sorry. Here, have some grid. Yeah, hey, grid. Somehow managed that out of five of us, four of us aren't on the right grid. <laughs> <laughs> Who's broken now? <laughs> We're just bigger. Um, so yeah, just uh, blessing, bamf down to the ground mm -hmm. out of this thing's uh, grasp, and uh, we're just gonna hit it with the rapier, I think. Okay. Oh, did you do? Sorry, it. Oh my god. I got a new weapon. It's... Oh, you're fine. You're fine. Yeah. And I'm I'm trying to find a space for my dice, the thingy, but my desk it's too full. Okay, I'm prepared. Um... Uh, there we go. A twenty six hits. All right. This is your new weapon. My new weapon, yeah. Guarded. The. I don't think I'm going to activate the thing on it. But otherwise, it's just a plus one, I believe, right? It's been a while since I got it. It's been a while since I've given it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, plus one right here. I have three charges. Not using any charges right now. So. Mm -hmm. uh, I just don't remember if I changed my things. Um, plus, yeah. Okay, there we go. Good damage. 
That's 12 magical piercing damage. Which it takes. Yeah. <sighs> um, so you you kind of clank your weapon against the stone exterior of this thing. Um, you feel like you, you would have bounced off if it wasn't for the magic uh, that uh, that pulsates through Dust Blade, uh, and you manage to open a crack in this. Uh, uh, in this creature of stone. Alright. I have a small problem. My, my dry erase marker has run out of ink. Oh no. Okay, got a new one. Anything else? That is my turn. Okay, then we move on to Taka on the ceiling. Yeah. May Tekka wrestle this weird stalagmite tentacle so that Brook is no longer restrained? Uh, you can attempt to do so. Okay. That is, uh, um, I need you to roll an athletics check, which will be contested. Yep, yep, yep. My hero, you got this. You're definitely more athletic than a rock. I mean, come on. Surely. Oh, there have <laughs> Oh, no. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, this is the this is not one the one me. shot. Your characters are not in love. <laughs> True. <laughs> you don't know that. Oh. <laughs> Unless. <laughs> Unless. <laughs> <laughs> but um, it, it is a spectacular failure. Uh, and Tekka is very embarrassed. <laughs> <laughs> okay. uh, Tekka, okay. you, mo you move on best. to grab onto one of these. Uh, I'm gonna call them tentacles. They're like just the stony appendages. Um, as multiple of these uh, um, stalagmites have, have come to life, and they all seem to be just parts of this one creature. Uh, and you trip over one of them on the way. <laughs> <laughs> Incredible. There's this brief split second where you're worried you're gonna fall all the way to where the other group is, but. Gravity is keeping you here. Um, yeah. That took up one of your potential attacks, so you do have the chance to try again. Because you have multi-attack, right? Uh, true, yeah. So can we try to grapple again? Can we you go can for the vengeance it again, yes. All right, let's go. <laughs> attempt <to> number two. <laughs> <laughs> Austin, we're not going to give them backstories like the animals there from is strange. the other. <laughs> Um, so I've got a dirty 20 against your 15. Ooh, well done. Um, no, thank you. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think uh, Tega's just gonna, like, mumble to himself, <laughs> stand in the corner, think about <laughs> the things he's done, <laughs> and end the turn. Brookie witness the Tega's valiant efforts to get to you. Uh, you squeak. concentrate on destroying that thing. Sorry. Um, rook. So Tekka doing that, he took the attack action, right? And it's just replacing his attacks with those things, like shoves mm -hmm. or grapples. Mm -hmm. Does he still get his monk bonus action attack or taking the attack action? Um, does it specify that he has to take the attack action and not perform mm -hmm. attacks? I think it's when you take the attack action. If it's like yeah. that, then sure. Um, Part of the maybe. martial arts feature. Hmm, okay. I believe you. I just don't see it. Are you guys making all these jokes because they're called smashers? Or okay, like, what's going go. on? Uh, when you use the attack action with an unarmed strike or a monk weapon on your turn, you can make an unarmed strike as a bonus action. Oh, so you have to do attack action with an unarmed strike or a weapon. So, okay. I guess not. Nope. Denied. Yeah. And I'm sorry. <laughs> I tried. <laughs> I appreciate yeah. it, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Back to Squeak. Uh, uh, nope. You're on your own. Bye. <laughs> Hits the button. <laughs> but he's in the cage. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Is what he wished he could do. <laughs> <laughs> We got a glimpse into Squeak's mind. 
Um, well, can't really do much. <laughs> put me down! Put me down! <laughs> throw me! Throw me! Hide me back here! Oh, well, I'd we'll mess have... him up if I could, believe me! I <laughs> would! <laughs> He loves to wait until Pippo um, yeah, can do something. Uh, I guess that brings us to the Heart Smasher. Uh, who has Virion in its grasp? Can I uh, No longer. You're right. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <No>. Slow brain. <laughs> it's Slow okay. brain. Um, okay. Maybe it can fix that. Um, so... It's going to try to grab both Pip and uh, Virion. Um, starting with Virion, it's a 15 to hit. That misses. Okay, and moving on to Pip, which is a 21 to hit. That hits. Um, boop, boop. Okay. And then he just reels you in. Uh, you're grabbed by by your ankle and just pulled um, towards its mouth. No damage, just to grab. No damage. Restrain. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're just restrained. Uh, but now it tries to bite you. Oh. And <laughs> uh, uh... is he is Pip within five feet of Virion right now? Yeah. I know, okay, gonna protection reaction that then. Uh, okay, which does is it ha he has disadvantage on this attack roll. Okay, the thing does. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go from a dirty twenty to hit with thirteen to hit. That misses. Okay, Nine. but to to uh, clarify, is Pip. Grappled or restrained? Both. Which really is just restrained, because grappled is part of restrained, basically. Wouldn't that give it advantage? Oh, it does. <laughs> You're right. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> then, but it's a protection take down to, but protection would take it down to normal, then. But yeah. Yeah, but that's still a 20, 20. So. Still 20. Mm -hmm. It hits. Okay. Thank you. Sorry. You're right. I know this works. We were just talking about how many years we've spent playing D&D. &D. <laughs> ah, that doesn't mean damage? anything. <laughs> you guys were just talking about how much you've played as apes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We've been playing that long we were the back then. It makes it 14 points of piercing damage. Um, as one of uh, the, the leg you're being held from, uh, it gets bitten. And your foot is now in this stone thing that has uh, very sharp teeth. Ow. It's munching on your boots. No, I don't <laughs> wear those. Where'd you get those? Oh, oops. That's right. <laughs> yeah, do you have bare feet or you do? It's munching on your feet. No! <laughs> it's putting boots on your feet. <laughs> There's not a lot of meat on them. Um, Pontifex Talix tries to escape your grasp. <laughs> okay. okay, contest. It's a, it's a contested grapple then. We're gonna do a lot of these today. Yeah. Let me love you. Use that strength of yours. I don't know. It's possible. No. <laughs> <laughs> Talix tries to. Squirm away from your arms, no but your, with your free arm, you're holding him uh, up against your side. And now it's your turn. <laughs> Don't make this more difficult than it needs to be. <laughs> okay, I have a couple of questions. <laughs> well, uh, what is it? So this this wall up ahead is there doors? Yes. Are there keyholes? Mm hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Are there any obviously visible keys? Hmm. Uh, roll an investigation check. We're, um, okay, I'm going to give you an option. You can either use your action to investigate and the, and the DC is lower, or um, it won't, but the DC is higher. Oh, yeah, we don't need that. 
We don't need low DCs. It's an okay. investigation check. I live for the. Rolling a two here, calling it. I don't, I don't think I can. Uh, okay, twenty-seven. All right. Um. So you're looking at Brook, who is currently in the process of being eaten, much like Pip is. Uh, and as this creature is opening its mouth, you can see something metallic shining inside of it. <laughs> can I, with my action, you know, use that mage hand and just try to yoink it? <laughs> <laughs> just mage hand in and just... Ah. <laughs> try to swipe it while it's trying to bite Brook? <laughs> Are you using a spade? <laughs> Maybe that might be that might make it, I don't know would that make it easier if I like held my action to yoink the key for when it tries to bite Brook? Yeah, do it when it successfully bites uh, Brook. Uh, wonderful. Um, uh, Brook that's hacks exactly what like Brook's uh, Brook's ankle, Brook's leg, uh, Brook's bones so should uh, like help keep the door uh, the door <laughs> the mouth yeah. open for long enough. Like whenever it. Whenever it, it, it unhinges its stone jaw to try yeah. to bite something, I'm gonna try to yeah, I'm gonna hold my action to yoink the key uh for when it tries to bite something. <laughs> uh, and I guess that's a bonus action. Uh I can know I can do something here. Uh, yeah, as a bonus action, uh was I able to see like how far away it was able to grab Pip? Um, it was, uh, since you were so high on investigation, yeah, Pip was 15 feet away from this thing when he, he grabbed them. Uh, okay, uh, the professor is going to, uh, shout out loud, uh, for, uh, Tekka to back away from the Skull Smasher, uh, and I'm going to back up while I cast, uh, Sanctuary, uh, as a bonus action onto Brook. Uh, and that would let you take a reaction to attack it if you want. Woo! As order clear. How strand am I? Only at my feet? Um, yeah. But like as you're struggling against it, like your arms aren't pinned yet, uh, so you can swing. It is still a disadvantage because you're effectively wrestling with this thing. Okay. Seventeen. Uh, seventeen misses. Oh. Huh. Uh, but yeah, there we go. Uh, that's it. My my bonus action. Uh, okay. Sanctuary and <clears throat> uh, ready to action. Mage hand yoink, and I backed up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, Brook, you just swing your weapon and it just goes clang. Uh, it's like just hitting a solid wall. Uh, you don't manage to make uh, uh, to, to crack it open. Wait, I'm so sorry. Uh, if I cast Sanctuary on a creature and then they make an attack, it removes uh, the Sanctuary. So that doesn't make sense. Uh, oh, that's could I true. use as a healing word instead? Yeah, sure. Okay, yeah, that, that makes sense. So I'm like, oh, here's a spell. It goes away. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll make that a healing word instead. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Here's a spell and it goes away. There you go. Okay. Yeah, five HP. That's better than nothing. Yeah, Brooke, you, you heal for five. So true. Thank you. Uh, and sure. now we move on to Pip. <laughs> oh. Pip Squeak requested, specifically requested that you bring him away from this. Yeah, Pip just tosses him on the ground. Just. <laughs> Yeet. Um, Yeet. <laughs> Yeet. The rat devil. Um. Ah. Ah. Should I go violence or. <laughs> or peace? Peace or violence? I think peace was never an option. Pip was weighing peace. But then he's. He's being munched on. And so <laughs> I, this seems like an. Uh. This seems like. It's the a time recurring for theme in today's life of Pip. Um, yeah. 
Pip is holding up the uh, the bleached white doll, and uh, Varian, you watch as strings from it start to uh, be drawn from it, almost in like a never-ending stream. Uh, even though the strings keep coming off of it, it feels like it's never losing any material. And the strings uh, sort of float around this side of the room and then uh, enter into eight different cocoon-like shapes. And emerging from them will be some re reinforcements for us. So hey. I'm picking eight creatures, Winther. This is an eight-creature kind of combat that you forced me into. Oh, my God. What challenge rating are they supposed to be? Uh, fourth. I mean, one fourth. Oh god! <laughs> <laughs> so you are four creatures. Eight armabastus. <laughs> Why do I not have a creature challenge rating one fourth? Uh oh. Nothing emerges. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Maybe I just didn't put it in my nose. Or, yeah. or I messed up and I didn't make it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Monsters. Challenge rating. Oh, I can't sort them by challenge rating. This is the worst. You're breaking the social contract of using Oops. summoning spells at a D&D &D table. <laughs> uh oh. Oh no. I actually didn't. <laughs> hmm. It says of challenge rating one fourth or lower. Uh, so I you could screw won. me over and make me eighth. <laughs> hmm. No, I have I have health. For some reason, I didn't make a one quarter. Maybe I forgot that it existed. I can pick another option. <laughs> or I can give you just smaller unins. <laughs> with like half the hit points. Just just for today. And then I promise to get my shit together. I'll, I'll just pick the... I'll pick four. I'll pick okay. four creatures. Do you still have the um, tokens for the unins? I do. Okay, good. Uh, go it's, ahead. It's unin again. Mhm. Mm that's that. Yeah, that's that's what the Un health unin challenge again? rating. Unin again. Unin again. Uh, do you have? I'm getting. Yeah, all four. Nice. Yeah. No, I forgot that this challenge rating exists. Six, two. And I'll I'll roll initiative for them, and I'll put this token on the board for it. Is I think how we oh for the initiative. Do this, yeah. Okay. So. Okay. Okay, here they are. Okay. Um, I apologize. Bonus action. Pip is going to try and... Uh, use his telekinetic shove. Can't use this on himself, can he? <laughs> I think he can. No, I don't think so. I One creature you can see. see within 30 feet of me. I'm within 30 feet of me. <laughs> Does that seem gamey? <laughs> it works? I guess so. I can just break free of this? Oh, apparently, yes. I actually just looked this up. Just like, that seems weird. You can. I bonus action telekinetically shove myself. Wow, for this team, grapples are nothing. Uh -huh. Team Slippery. Whoop. <laughs> Whoop. 
Well, Pip, what are you going to do with your newfound freedom? Go kinetic show me, right? self vertically. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say, Austin? It can reach me if I keep moving away. It's a long Possibly. boy. Gonna try it anyway. <laughs> Might be a mistake. <laughs> Just going to try and back away and grab the cage if he can get further. Uh, yeah, that's fine. You're not out of his reach yet. Oh, <laughs> what? Oh, no. <laughs> okay, good news and bad news. <laughs> <laughs> no opportunity attack. Whoa. Oh. I'm in danger. That, that, that'll, uh, that'll end this turn. All right, Brooke. <laughs> Question, does the stalactite actually have an eye, like on the mini? Um, yes. Yes. Um, it was invisible when it was closed, but now you see it blinking and then just staring right at you. The eye is as big as your head. Hmm. All right, I'll try to free myself. Okay. Uh, make it a uh, make it a uh, a contested check. Wait, where did I put my dice? Here they are. Uh, in your case, you can pick between athletics and acrobatics. All right. You have to beat a 15. I did? Uh, that's not beating it. Oh! Uh, unfortunately, on oh, a tie, the situation remains the same. What the heck? Okay. All right. You can try again. Oh, really? Because that takes up, yeah, that takes up one of your attacks, and you have two. All right. I'll try. Right? That applies to breaking grapples, too? I think it does. Oh, I'm saying it does. <laughs> All right, I roll. That's also a failure. Well, I tried. <laughs> Anything else to do on your turn? <coughs> nope. Okay, well, you are still currently being um, bait for Pontifex's plan. Um, as you get munched on. So first... Uh, wait, 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 wait. Yeah? Don't roll yet. Okay. Or don't tell me what it is. Uh -huh. Does it have eyes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would like to do the blood curse of the eyeless and amplify it, since I'm just going to assume that stone doesn't have blood. Okay. <laughs> and that means what for me? Um, When a creature you see within 30 feet of you makes an attack, you can use your reaction to a 1d6 and, res and subtract the result from the creature's attack roll. Okay. If I amplify this curse... All of the creatures attacks until the end of its turn are included. Okay. So I roll separately for each attack. Uh, so roll the d6. Yeah, but I also have to be damaged to myself. Damage yourself. Oh, nice. perfect. We take that. All right, all right, all right, all right. Now a six. Go. Well. Okay, uh, that brings it down to an 18. Oh, that misses! 19. Nice. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. I would like to wiggle finger. Mm -hmm. um, Pontifex, you stick your mage hand. Uh-huh. Whatever goes to White Brook, he's like, hi -ya! And the blood curses this thing. I take that moment to, <laughs> to jam my hand in its mouth. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you you move your hand around in the mouth of the stone monster, and uh, 
Uh, <laughs> you pull out the metal key. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I just imagine it going run and blah, blah, blah. <laughs> <laughs> like the when you go the he's, gonna, he's gonna yell out loud, keys are in the mouth. <laughs> Good bait. <laughs> <laughs> GG, easy, no re, skill issue. Okay. Oh, Windsor, would, um, you, would you say I'm incapacitated? Is that part of that? Why? Uh, for a potential use of one of my features later. You, you're not incapacitated. Okay. You're just restrained. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Tekka, does a 15 hit you? Oh, well, I get to roll again if it's an attack. What? Since I amplified the... Even if it's on Tekka? All... Yeah. yeah. Okay. It's for all the attacks. Ah, all right. A 12 oh, eat you. <laughs> oh, is Sid with us? It's muted. Sorry, uh, yeah, that was a needless <laughs> roll, uh, because it wouldn't have hit anyway, but I appreciate it. All right, Pontifex. Ooh, I rolled my die out of here. Okay, uh, Pontifex. That is a 22 to no, I was supposed to say it's a 20 to hit. Uh, yeah, I don't have my reaction to shield, so a 20 would hit. Okay, that means you are grappled and restrained. Whoa! Um, how often can I do this? <laughs> Once, okay. Um, so it's all of you, okay. And a Pontifex, you are pulled... Oh, Whoa. that's further. Yeah. So, well, hello. Uh, the key's flying towards you, and uh, <laughs> you're being dragged towards the key, and the key hits you in the face, and you grab it. <laughs> With my teeth. No, totally. <laughs> Talix grabs it. <laughs> oh, Talix sees something shiny, and yeah, chomp, it just now, it's in, snaps and <laughs> now it's in his mouth. It. Yeah. <laughs> just uh, to make it okay. more difficult for myself later. That's everything. Virion. All right, uh, we're gonna do a stab. And flanking with the the dogs now, new friends. Oh, you are, <laughs> yes, friendly dogs. Yes. On the pack. But if it hits, the fifteen does not hit. I'm assuming. Uh, fifteen does not hit. Sorry, I. Uh, That's okay. What I, I got confused by Austin. What are you talking about? They get a special <laughs> ability Who? as part of the spell. The summoned creatures. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Yes, yes, they do. It's a D8, right? Uh, yes. Hey. ERP uh, is a swear word. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what it Love means, that. if so. One, two, three... Four, five. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, sm small, small correction. Oh no! Uh, to when they appeared, uh, they didn't appear. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing showed up. Uh, but you do hear barking and panting, for they Terrifying. are invisible. Uh, <laughs> the hellhounds and supernatural. <laughs> these are unseen um, wool dogs. Uh, they are invisible until they deal damage or cast a spell, which they can't do, but... Cool. <laughs> oh, hey! Did I just find my challenge rating one uh, quarter? In the wrong place in my notes? <laughs> oh no! I found it! Oh, wow. Well. I did have it! It's oh, okay. Well. Yeah, next awesome. time, next time. I, uh, but yeah, I Sabine, you still have advantage. It's just that. Yeah, I was, I was gonna say because I have advantage, I can reroll one of those from okay. Elven accuracy. So, try this again. Much better. Oh, not twenty hits. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, rogue the. Yes. Oh, oh, oh. Yes. 
Oops, this should be four less than that. It doubled the thing, so 25. Um, 25? 25. I quit oh with God. the sneak attack. <laughs> Rogue crit. Rogue crits. Um, oh, jeez. Huh. All right. <laughs> you just crack it open like an egg. Um, part of its head, the, the, the pointy section above its eye, just, um, Anime style, you chop it off, it falls down, um, you have almost broken it in half. It is still moving, um, but yeah, there's not a whole lot of it left. Cool. And then just a uh, bonus action, she'll kind of over her shoulder and, uh, uh, Pip, are you alright? Uh, we almost got it. And Warlord's Favor, uh, restore eight. Hit points back and eight temporary hit points. For pit. Eight pit points. Eight pit, pit points. Pit points. <laughs> and eight temporary pit points. Yes. <laughs> eight eight real pit points and eight temp pit points. <laughs> and that eight. will be my turn. Yeah. It sounds like a threat. The idea of temporary <laughs> pip. <laughs> I brought them into this world. I can take them away. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Tekka. Hmm. Okay, so on one hand, Pontifex did tell Tekka to stay away from this thing, but now that they're both grabbed, I don't know if that's on the <laughs> table right now. Uh, so I think we're going to go for the Tekka Tackle and try to... Uh, yeah. <laughs> the Tekka Tack! <laughs> and try to get Pontifex out of uh, its grasp here. So another uh, grapple check, I suppose. Do -do 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 -do. A 16 succeeds! Hooray! <laughs> um, so, we. Yeah? So is Pond's Vector just freed or.? Uh, uh, yes. <laughs> so you. Um, so you were trying earlier to grab these tentacles and you weren't having much success. So you instead put down your, your staff and you activate its spring loaded action and it just pushes off uh, in fact he breaks in half one of the tentacles that's holding pontifex and um that bit that you've cut off it falls to the ground and pontifex is free to move let's go uh can i use my second attack to try to free brook then you can okay you can do it from where you are as well so just roll again a 13 is not enough yeah that's fine one out of two, you know, I'll take it, I'll take it. Mm -hmm. Actually, one out of four, but who counts anyway? Now we know which one uh, of them is your favorite. Oh no, oh no! Uh, end of turn. Uh, Alright, squeak! Uh, actually, I'll use my bonus action to um, dodge. Uh, Alright, oh yeah, you can do that. <laughs> squeak! Squeak, uh, sick of feeling useless, is uh, sort of like... Uh, Leaning, leaning down in his cage a little bit, and mm -hmm. looks up towards the ceiling, and is going to like squeeze through the bars just enough to fire magic missiles up towards Skull Smasher. Oh, okay. From the ceiling. Yeah. <laughs> like fair as ultimate in Overwatch. <laughs> <laughs> Justice reigns I from above. Good reference. I, I don't, I don't Thank really you. want to watch. I'm sorry. That's fine. <laughs> Just imagine it's like shooting magic missiles from the ceiling. Oh, got it. 13 oh, yeah, yeah. points 13. of force damage. Pew, 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 pew. Nothing, not even this cage can stop Squeak's armor uh, from shooting out these, these projectiles, these little missiles that lock in on this. From, <laughs> from Squeak's perspective, it is stalactite. Uh, and yeah, tiny little explosions, pew pew pew. I did it! I'm so cool. Uh, <laughs> um, Alex of the Dragon squeals in delight at the, at the uh, fireworks that just exploded in front of it. 
uh, and appears to be the only one who is appreciative of what Squeak did. <laughs> and uh, we're moving on to the unseen Wooldogs. Does Wooldog 1 have advantage for being invisible? Yeah. Nice. I they, guess they, they all, all have advantage. Wow. For being flanking? Invisible. Also flanking. <laughs> invisible, flanking. This is going to be fun. So don't forget they're within 20 feet of Virion, too. I know. <laughs> <laughs> first one's a 21. 21 hits. Should I just roll all to hit first? Sure. Might as well. Number two is 16. 16 misses. Number three is... That wool dog chips his fangs on the stone. 11. Oh, 11, oh no. You know, you know what, re-roll that one. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, we'll, uh, uh, how about... Do that thing. <laughs> Not 20 hits. <laughs> okay, so now I do the re-roll on the one. Mm -hmm. And it's just one roll, right? Yes. You can just remake an attack. Nah. Mm -hmm. That one's just bad. Bad dog. <laughs> <laughs> That's Broken it dog. is best. Yeah. Alright. So... Uh... So two hit. Two hits and yes, one's a crit. Yes, one is a crit. Okay. I add plus four to these also? Yep. That's pretty spicy. Yeah. All right. First one's nine piercing. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's, it's non-magical, right? Mm -hmm. Even if they're summoned by a spell? I... I think so. Okay, the, the spell doesn't say anything about their attacks to be magical, does it? No. Okay. Uh, so their fangs are not going to be as effective. That sounds really painful, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> Ow. Oh. <laughs> just biting into a rock. Yeah, you just hear, like, the, the scraping. Oh my god, That 18? one's an 18. Comes a 9, which is exactly what you needed. <gasps> you needed a 9. Um, so how how do the invisible bulldogs <laughs> kill the heart smasher? Well, they they do so, but it doesn't make them feel good. And <laughs> when they when they appear visible again, like half of their teeth are chipped off. Aww, <laughs> bleeding from their gums. It's very is unpleasant. A, is this reaction to pet dogs? a dog? Yes. Pet a dog. Yes, it is. Pretty good. Hi. Whoop. Alright, anything else? Mm, that'll do it for them. Maybe Heart Smasher uh, Smasher is gone, so um <clears throat> Talix ma <laughs> makes little squeaking noises um at the at the missiles from Squeak. Uh, and then wants to leave again. I got, a, yeah, I got an 11. Don't worry, statistically, it's still heavily in its advantage. <laughs> yeah, I don't want you to leave, not because I love you, but because you have the key. <laughs> <laughs> also because I love you. Oh, no. The key <laughs> flies away. I'll go through the door! <laughs> Crap. Uh, here. And you have lost Talix again. I got a word of that, what man. What the fuck? You should stop giving it important things. <laughs> I would like to cast Fireball on Talix. Uh, uh. <laughs> Never leaving me again. <laughs> <laughs> His stream you. does not condone animal violence. A dragon things animals. That seems like kind of demeaning to dragons. Yeah, uh, okay. We also do not condone dragon violence. Well, it depends. That's like uh, right. literally in Take the name. Take your turn. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, uh, I'm not restrained though. Yeah, correct, because uh, Tekka freed you. Okay, uh, then I am going to, uh, with my action, I'm going to mind whip this thing, assuming there's a mind to whip. Um, there is a mind. Great, intelligence save. 
there, there is a skull, there is a mind, there is an intelligence save to be made, which is a total of five. <laughs> that fails just a little. <laughs> uh, it takes eight points of psychic damage. Which it takes. Uh, it does not have reactions until the end of its next turn, uh, and it has to pick action, bonus action, or movement. All right. Uh, and then the professor is going to go running off. <laughs> Uh, After no, the right. dragon. Yeah. Come back. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to go to here. Um, and then I am... Uh, let's do it again. Uh, I'm going to bonus action, healing word. Oh, wait, no. I just cast a spell I can't. Uh, that's all then. Okay. Bip. Okay. Um... Hmm. Are there like bits of Hmm. 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 Hip. <laughs> Pip will put down Squeak's cage and then catapult it to this <laughs> stalactite. <laughs> oh, hold on, Squeak! <laughs> he didn't think he wanted to be thrown. He did. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hold on right. to your butts. It needs to make a deck save. I didn't mean to roll it on D D Beyond. I'm going to roll it on here. <laughs> uh, Eleven. It fails. It takes <laughs> twenty-one points of oh bludgeoning. It's not a very good roll, actually. <laughs> no, but it does take bludgeoning damage in its entirety. Quick damage. Um, <laughs> squeak takes off. Uh, <laughs> launched, the squeak take any. <laughs> launched towards the ceiling, hits a skull smasher, leaves an, uh, a cage shaped indent on its side, and then the cage falls back down. Um, Seriously, it didn't break? <laughs> so squeak um I I feel like he would at, at least take the fall damage on the way back down um in something also upon impact sure I'm gonna roll this many dice which makes it a 10 points of bludgeoning. Yeah, he takes half of that. All right. What what does he say as he takes off and then falls back down? Ah, that smarts. <laughs> I'm dying. <laughs> this is the end, Tekka. Oh, Tekka. And then he falls back is down where Pip is. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> like he hits, he hits a skull smasher, and the cage remains like stuck in the end and it has made for like a few seconds, <laughs> and then falls back down. Wait, catch me, catch me! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> it falls like ah! approximately here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you can have a point of inspiration for that. It was <laughs> dragging me up. Really? <laughs> My face hurts. Catapultation. There you go. You hear that, Pontifex? Abuse your familiars, it pays off. No, he's trying to be an abusing them. 
I'll, I'll give him inspiration when he stops. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Brook! I am trying to free myself. Attempt number... 10. Mm, what was it? Athletics? Contest? You can pick. Athletics or acrobatics. Alright, alright. Free! Oh, wow. Surely. Yeah. Surely. Yeah! Um, you just start smacking with the hilt of your sword, the, the, the tentacles that are holding you down, smack, 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 and then suddenly, boom, Squeak's cage hits this creature. Um... And uh, as it as it falls back down, you use that opening to finally land a good <coughs> hit, and you break yourself free. Mm. All right, I guess I tried to hit it. Okay, is that a is question? That... Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, you can you can hit it. <laughs> it's not a question. You can try. Ooh. That, that a natural one does not hit. Alright. You slam your weapon against this thing. You're you're aiming for the eye, but you end up hitting like beside it, uh, and your Clunk. your weapon gets chipped. What? Like broken or? Yeah, it, you know, or... has a little indent. What the heck? All right, that's mm, my turn. Mm -hmm. mm, okay. Uh, in that case, the school smasher is gonna try to grab, um, which ones? Can I do oh, that again? I would like to do, do what second again? blood melodic. Oh. E yeah. Amplified. Like on your turn as a bonus action? Uh, no, or, like... before he attacks. Oh, 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 it's a reaction. Yes, yes, sorry, I'm silly. Yeah, you can do it. So I take, ouch. You touch right. the chipped part of your blade. Oh, still sharp. <laughs> All right. For the first grab try. What the heck? <laughs> Okay, this one is on you, he becomes an 11. Nope. Okay, how about the next one on Tekka? Disadvantage. Because dodging. So it becomes uh, a 12. Does not work. Okay, Pontifex. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Comes a 4. Uh, it just barely misses. And Talix. <laughs> oh. Comes a 16. Which hits. Uh, so, uh, all of you dodging out of the way with these tentacles. Brook, you blind it in its one eye. Uh, you do so by stabbing. You just finally manage to hit the eye. Um, and the creature is silent. There's only the screeching of stone against stone. Um, he's waving the tentacles around. All of you are dodging out of the way. And it, it looks like things are going your way. And in Pontifex, you see Talix just being dragged back uh, uh, this way. What the? No! <laughs> uh, being Wait, pulled, well, this works now. <laughs> being, pulled, <laughs> being, being pulled by the tail. Um, but 25 feet, that's not enough for it to bite it. Right? Yeah. Um, it can try to bite one of you guys, though. Uh, this is gonna try to bite. Is this all still just its action? Taka? Yes. Okay. It does lots of things in one turn. So Taka at disadvantage, minus four. Uh, that becomes... Uh, so I'm doing it backwards. Uh, Twelve. Does not hit. Okay. Uh, that's all it has. Severion. <laughs> all right. Uh, pushing the button on the dragon. Action, bonus action. Just do it. 
Uh, it's an interaction, so you can do it. All right. The... Yeah, she'll just run up and slam that button. Okay. Uh, you appear in this spot. Pontifex, all of a sudden, you just feel yourself being pulled away. <laughs> oh, Telex, you have come back to me. No! <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, five. No! <laughs> the other side there, just right on in with the rapier, uh, flanking with the... Uh, Deca, uh-huh. Alright. Uh, oh oh Something broke. Wait, no, <laughs> there that's it goes. me. I'm breaking. Okay, I am gonna reroll one of those. Okay. Much 26 hits. Oh. 16. Okay. How would you like to do this? Um, so I will say probably what happens is as Virian gets, you know, teleported up to the top, it's just, uh, Probably like run up to the thing, probably grab onto one of the tentacles again, used to rigging out a ship, just uses it to climb up and gets it right in the eye. Okay. Uh, your weapon finds no resistance when hitting the eye. It just goes all the way through until you you feel the the resistance from hitting the back of the head of this thing. Uh, and then you push through a little bit further until the weapon pokes out from the other side uh, and take a you you guess pretty close to your face. <laughs> uh, and it stops moving. It lets go of Talix, who immediately just flies off over here, and uh, um, that's the end of combat. Here, you can have you can have the Heart Smasher, and you can have the, the Skull Smasher. Wait, not the other way around, sorry. Ah. We know what you meant. It's fine. Yes. <laughs> Meant well. Uh, Talix has the key. And my heart. <laughs> I, I think ours is uh, still in that um, mess. Uh, yeah, I guess Techno will start trying to chase down this <laughs> I was going to say, as, as Techno goes to chase him down, I think Viri is just going to see if she can coax Talix over. Okay. Uh, tech In at the case moment, Alex comes this way, I'll catch him. <laughs> the moment the dragon is, starts being chased, um, it's just it believes it's playtime. Uh, it, it it just flies around you guys and then flies towards Pontifex. Uh, and as it's almost within arm's reach of Pontifex, it stops flying and gravity just pulls it back towards the side. Uh, and it seems to have discovered a new game where it can just fly up let it, and let itself fly down and Pontifex can never quite reach it. Um, the, I'm going to try to sneak him with the mage hand. Uh, uh, Viren, <laughs> roll a... Around. I, we're making this an animal handling check. Okay. Um, Pontifex, you have sleight of end. Uh, and Brooke and Tekka can both roll athletics. See who catches it. <laughs> and Tekka? Oh my goodness. But Brooke has uh, the upper hand. Who? Cool. Yeah. Um, Scooby-Doo chase um, takes place for, for a few minutes uh, until, Brooke, you, you hide behind the statue, um, which is, like, just big enough to conceal you from the view. And uh, as Talix is fl flying around, when he passes by you, you just show up and you jump out uh, and you, you tackle the little dragon um, who seems to be having a blast and is now quite tired. I'm holding him with both hands, and then walk... Wait. Pontifex is over there. Oh. <laughs> I'll try to get the key out of the mouse. Um, 
it's it's trying the thing where uh, it, it, it it's doing the thing where it's trying to not let you take it, and you have to like work to pull it out. But eventually, you do so without injuring it. All right. Oh, First of all, you see our. All you see are Pip's ankles dangling out of the mouth as Pip's <laughs> trying to get the key. Uh, and Pip, you find there's something shiny in the mouth. A key? Mm-hmm. Nice. Good guess. <laughs> I'm going to go out on a limb and say that these keys need to be swapped around again. I suppose we can try it first so we don't have to do the swap first, swap again if we don't need to. Uh, indeed, trying out the keys, uh, they, they're not matches. Will send his up. If you levitate your key to Brook. Oh. Uh. Now Brook has two keys. Brook has two keys. How Brooke, throw yours. <laughs> I don't think that will work. I can catch it with my mind. Oh. <laughs> All right, I'll throw. <laughs> <laughs> you throw the key upward, uh, Pip, you catch it with your mind, and you pull it towards you. Click, click. Uh, click, click. Click, click. They turn with no resistance, and the door is open. <laughs> um, yeah, there is there is an invasion of of dogs. Um, just hey. running in. Uh, this section. Hey. Oh. oh. Sorry. <laughs> what are you doing? The only way I could think that Alba was riding the dog. <laughs> What's are, happening? Are, are you good? Are you good with the dog? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> he sees your 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 ball. Oh, well, that's how you do play fetch. <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> Well, I don't know what's going on over here, uh, but <laughs> <Me either. laughs> as, as Pontifex is uh, freeing himself from the clutches of one particularly friendly dog, we're going to take a break. Mm. Oh, sounds good. Uh, make it... Uh... <laughs> um, mm. How much longer do you guys have today? Does anyone need to leave I early? Mm -mm. Not early. I can. Mm -hmm. I can't stay too much later than normal end time. But do we have two hours? Two hours yeah. works. Yeah, sounds good. Two hours works. Okay, let's take a thirty-minute break. Ooh, okay. Thirty. Very 13. specific. One three. Okay. Uh huh. Back at the twenty. Yes, very bit. specific. <laughs> See you in a bit. <laughs> Insert crab rave mp three. <laughs> 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 oh god. Oh, they're like orbiting. <laughs> oh, they were. <laughs> Why is it like slightly rotating? <laughs> yes. We've done it. <laughs> the, the ultimate life form. This dog amalgamate. <laughs> Is this wool dog one, two, three, or four? Yes. We are legion, for we are many. <laughs> we have become death destroyer of worlds. All right, everybody put your tokens up against the wall. <laughs> Are we being held up? <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, I'm against now. this wall. Look like here. <laughs> the quad burst. There were tokens against the wall. <laughs> oh, wrong wall. <laughs> this wall. <clears throat> I'm going to stick my mouth. Yes, you're, you're, be, you're being detained. 
I'm bringing in a witness. We're gonna see if uh, they recognize any of your faces. <laughs> ah, shit, my face. Oh, it hurts. <laughs> <sighs> okay, so you open the doors, you unlock them, um, you push them open, you look through. Um, as uh, in the previous rooms, you saw some vegetation managing to like um, grow in through the cracks in the stone. Uh, here, beyond this wall, the vegetation has taken over everything. So there's grass on the ground and vines uh, 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 growing down the walls. Um, each ceiling slash floor <clears throat> being covered by this vegetation. No actual trees, but there are some flowers that have managed to make their way up here. Uh, the dogs immediately run in and start... Uh, uh, Ruminating. Ah, uh, what about the rest of you? Ah, <clears throat> uh, there is a statue on both uh, uh, the the floor and the ceiling, and there is another door at the end that mirrors the other ones you passed thus far. I'm just gonna shove these walls a little bit further back. Oops. Mm. And on a wall. Mm. <clears throat> Can I go look for a key? Uh, yeah. may, may, maybe uh, take a look around before we just wander off again. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Removes hand from button. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, I don't know how that... A, a rock snuck up on me, but a rock snuck up on me, so I'd rather not repeat that. I thought that show in... Uh, did and did these things just like sprout out of the ground? Like, I I'm guessing like uh, Varian didn't just like walk up to a giant stone stalagmite, right? There were there were there were stalactites all over the place, so it was just one of many oh, okay, that okay. came to life. I see. Is this room also full of stalagmites? No, just vegetation. Is the grass, like, moving? Is there any indication that something might be in there? Is it pretty still? And roll, a, roll an investigation check. There is no wind in here, so the grass isn't, like, swaying yeah. from side to side. Uh, I could fairly easily clear all of this. Uh, I think that would be a very, very poor decision. Um... But Vera, you do spot some movement. Uh, at first you think it's a, it's a snake on the ground. You see something green crawling towards Brook. Uh, but like in a moment you realize that's not a snake. That's just a vine that is moving. Much like a snake. She, she will call that out. Just be like, oh, Brook, watch out. Brook, you take, you take a step back. Uh, and we're going to roll Can initiative. Uh, oh. Sure. Yeah, you can stab it. And then we'll roll initiative. Oh, you're the one that talks to plants. What if it just wanted a hug? <laughs> well, I can't understand it. He can talk to it. He can't talk with it. 18 I can talk at hits. Mm-hmm. Okay. 11. Where'd my thing go? I lost my thing. Here's my thing. <clears throat> Alright, 11 points of damage. You're... Um, <coughs> your weapon cuts the vine. And uh, the bit of it that you cut off remains at your feet. And it wriggles around a little bit uh, before becoming still. Uh, the rest of the vine is pulled back away from you, uh, and uh, the vegetation begins to kind of like get together. Uh, the grass is absorbed into the ground and reappears, all concentrating in, concentrated in one area. Uh, the vines rise up vertically. Uh, the flowers all wither and, and die. 
uh, and you are left with uh, just a mound of vegetation uh, that is quite big uh, and is coming for you. For me? What a yeah. name. It kind of looked like Executor. Judging based <laughs> on its name and the ape conversations, I think you might be okay. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, dang it, I haven't done a thing to it either. Yeah. All right, here we go. All right, if I'm okay, I'm just going to pretend to be dead. <laughs> nice. Outsmarted. <laughs> <laughs> uh, one, to sing. one of the dogs yelps, the one over here that was rolling in the grass. Oh, um, no. And you see vines lifting it up and the, uh, the dog being absorbed by a mound of plants on this absorbed? side. Absorbed? Yes. Stall oh, devourer! I'm glad I'm on I, this side. I want to be on the other <laughs> side. <laughs> that seems a little harsher. <laughs> yeah, well, I have one of these things. I only have one. I'm so glad I had initiative on that, uh, or advantage on that initiative roll. It did me so such great things. Ooh, dear. Okay. Uh... Oh, I didn't roll for the wool dogs again. Oh, jeez. <laughs> that, like, stakes off. Yeet! I think oh, that's it's fine. Same number. <laughs> ah! Uh, okay, that's done, that's done. Cool! Ah! I failed. There we go! Right, Brooke. Uh, you just have the vine, and now a bunch of plants are angry at you. The usual. <laughs> <laughs> Time to mow them down. <laughs> Get chopped. Oh. Uh, a Point. fourteen hits. Ooh. All right, let's make this quick. Squeak. Oh, wow. 14. And then the second attack. Uh-huh. Uh Damn. Okay. That is, that is a ton of damage you're opening up wow. with. Holy crap. If I hit, I hit. Yeah. <laughs> and this. If I hit, I hit. <laughs> okay. Uh, you need to be like up here, but besides that, you're good. Oh. Okay. Anything else in your turn? Mm, nah. Right. It brings us to the wool dogs. So what's the deal with number four here? Why did Talix die? Oh. <laughs> um, <laughs> number four is in here. Uh-oh. That sounds unpleasant for for this dog. Uh, uh, start of uh, the soul devourer's turn. Okay. Nothing uh, I should be concerned yeah, about. Yeah, don't, don't worry about it. About it. Can it try to break free? No? <laughs> uh, sorry, I'm just like reading. Uh... Yes, yes again. Okay, it will make an attempt to break free. Mm -hmm. uh, athletics or, or acrobatics as usual? I uh, know. In this case, it's specifically a strength check. Strength check. Okay. 
It's got decent strength. Let's give it a go. Ten. Not enough. Uh oh. It's just gonna have its soul devoured. That's fine. <laughs> uh, then the other dogs will attack the plant. Attack. Um, biting at it. These mm -hmm. two have advantage. This one does not. Ah. Uh. Oh, the bulldogs do eat grass, so yeah, they're to go for it. <laughs> Better than the the freaking stone from earlier. <laughs> It'll make you sick. All right, here we go. <clears throat> First one's a thirteen. Thirteen misses. Uh oh. <laughs> ruh -roh. Ruh -roh. Second one's a ruh -roh. <laughs> Second one's eighteen an hits. 18. And the third one is not at advantage, and it is a twenty-one. Hits. The best one. <laughs> two, okay. two attacks. Okay. Uh, um. First one's four piercing. Or. Second one is eight. Eight. Okay, yeah, they start chomping. Chomp, chomp, chomp. Yeah, they stand their ground, growling, chomping. They they bite off pieces of it and just spit it back out. It's actually not good taste. No. That's it for them. Okay. Cage. Spirit. Yeah! Get them! <laughs> Virion. Alright. <laughs> uh. Do. And this is not aligned to the grid, let me adjust. There we go. Let's see, full three squares. Oop. Linking with the uh, brook there. Mm hmm. Alright, so uh, stabby stabby. Stabby stabby. Stabby stabby. Stab. 25 hits? Uh I, I am going to re-roll that seven just so I can crit fish, because I can do that. Crit fish, crit fish. Nope. Okay, Wait, no I'm fish for stuff. you. No fish, not today. Definitely no fish Ugh. today. <laughs> I got the one good hit, that was my my day today. <laughs> Something is still... A solid damage. You're basically just whacking at it. Yeah. Uh, and more and more uh, leaves and and then bits of plants are, are falling down at your feet. Um, it doesn't quite feel like like the bits you're you're cutting off. It almost doesn't feel like they're part of one uniform thing. And yet there is this entire mass that's that's reaching for you. I think that is going to be my turn then. Okay, that put. brings us to the soul devourer. So the dog that is in it needs to roll a constitution saving throw. Okay. That will be a 14. A 14 does not pass. So it's gonna get eaten. Hmm. Um for 13 points of piercing damage. Ouch. Um, still alive? Mm-hmm. Okay, then nothing happens there. Um, all the creatures within 10 feet of it, so that's just the dogs, uh, minus the one that is currently being eaten, uh, need to roll a wisdom saving throw. Ooh. Okay. <clears throat> uh, we'll just do it in order one, two, three. Oh, sure. Four. Fails. Fourteen. Fails. Yikes. <laughs> Four. <laughs> <laughs> Fails. Uh -uh. Okay, so spores um, 
shoot out in every direction around uh, this uh, grassy creature. And all the dogs ass out. They are all unconscious. Nice. Um, which is fine. We can leave them where they are. How fast can this move? Um, this fast. Oh, perfect. Ah, uh, this comes along. And pip. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, the many vines uh, fall upon you and try to pick you up. Um, I have a 22 and a 19 to hit. Yeah. Both? Yeah. Okay. Um, that makes it seven points of bludgeoning. Plus nine. It's free two attacks. Okay, so uh, and... so Pip had eight temporary hit points, so now he's down to twenty. Okay, um, the uh, the plant creature lifts you up and uh, uh, tries to eat you. Its stomach is already occupied, um, so you are not devoured on this turn. Um, is grappled though? But you are grappled. Uh, and then we move on to Pip. Yikes. Uh huh. That's not good. <laughs> Hmm. Pip's going to uh, fiddle with the iron ring on his left index finger, and as he's twisting it around his finger, green sparks start to fly off of it as he casts Create Bonfire uh, on the Soul Devourer, let's say. Yeah, let's say right in the middle. Sorry, wool dog. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it needs to make a deck save. The soul devourer. Oh, Maybe the wool dog. Is it. I don't know. <laughs> Not the dog. The natural one. Doesn't matter. Okay. So that's 2d8 fire. Oh, lag. Oh, 15. Okay. 15 reduced to 7. Oh no! Um, this much. Um, this plant material doesn't really catch on fire the way you would have expected it to. Um, it's almost smothering the fire with how big it is. Mm -hmm. Bonus action Pip is going to. Telekinetic shove, push the soul devourer five feet back. It needs to make a strength save. Fifteen? That just succeeds. Okay. Uh, a little bit too big to shove. For now. <laughs> for now. Wait, what do you mean for now? <laughs> um, we'll try again later. <laughs> okay. <laughs> It's going to be the same size later. Pontifex, it's you next. Uh, yep. Let's, uh... Let's make this really awkward for it. Uh, Pontifex is going to move... Uh, I guess I can cast first. Uh, I'm going to cast Flaming Sphere. Okay. Uh, and we're going to keep it uh, as fire. Uh, I'm just going to cast it a second... You're going to keep it as well. fire? Yeah, I'm going to keep it as fire. Flaming Sphere. I don't think he's ever actually used fire, Flaming Sphere. 
Now's a great time to keep it as fire, I'm sure. It used to get uh, in the uh, tower. That's true. Uh, was it fire? Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, because I upcast it and I didn't have any other things that could... Uh, at this ball, gonna roll. Eh. <laughs> oh no, it's a ball rolling. Eh. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Wee! Alright, we're playing marbles now. Okay, uh, hold okay. it. You can hold it. Okay. Yeah. Alright. Anyways, that's where I'm putting it. <laughs> then I'm gonna move uh, here. Yeah. Uh, and I'm going to use my bonus action to uh, smack it with the orb. Okay. Bop it. Uh, Dex it. Bop it. Ooh, Bop 17. Uh, that succeeds, so it only takes half. Of, uh, okay. It takes this. one point to fire damage. Oh. Oh, Matt must have misheard. Okay. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, that is... That's my turn. I, I think that's why Austin was like, <laughs> objecting. Yeah, it took, it took half of Pip's fire as well. Oh, I see. I misheard. Oh, well. Do you want to take it back? Uh, I mean, I'll, I'll change the damage type, if that's cool. You, you go ahead. Uh, if you misheard, that's yeah, fine. Let's, let's do... Uh, Let's do acid. I haven't acided something since that dude's wife. <laughs> what? what? <laughs> the last time I disintegrated oh, no. something with acid is it was the werewolf's wife. Uh, and kids. Uh, Great. <laughs> Let's bring back an oldie but the goodie. Okay. Well... In that case, it will take three points of acid damage. <laughs> Where, why? <laughs> oh, there was still else? some of her left. Uh, no, that's it. Okay, Tekka. Uh, does Tekka have a flanking position available? Ah, uh, yes. Beside Brook, on either side, would do it. Okay. Uh,. So Tekka will attach the hands attachment and then try to find a, a sturdy little vine and just start scraping it down. Where in the yeah, intimidating the plant. <laughs> exactly. Uh, so let's get rolling. <laughs> Fourteen hits. Okay. And then I'm going to add maneuvering attack, which is an additional D6. And uh, any any ally I can see can move if they wish. So anyone want to take up that offer? You can right now. Yep. Is it a reaction? Is there a reaction to do so? I'm curious. Uh, yeah, I'll check to just to make sure. Um, yeah, you have to use a reaction to do so. Okay. Just for... So I might do that. If I move just five feet over, does that put both Brook and Tekka within 20 feet of your end? Uh, moving goes. over here? Yes. Let me let me check. Yes? Surprisingly. Okay. Yep. Sorry, surprisingly for me, because I'm blind. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then... Yeah, Viren will just dodge over a little bit then. Okay. Uh, anyone you can see, yeah, Tekka, so also including Pontifex and Pip? And the dogs? Yeah, and it, well, it's only one per only one per one ally, though. Keep in mind, it's oh. not everyone. It's just Unless, one. Oh, so okay. if one of, so if one of you guys would rather do it, then you do it. Yeah, so if, if anyone else really would like to move right now, then let it be said right now, or then Viren can make the move. I can't, right? <laughs> Correct. Okay. Sounds like Viri makes the move then. Okay, cool. Okay. Uh, and then... Uh, that that Viri... 4 is also extra damage, yes? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, I did it right. 
And then uh, this little thing needs to make a constitution saving throw while I make some unarmed attacks. Ah. Uh, 17. Okay, nothing happens. Never mind. Uh, 17. Uh, <laughs> it's. I called it. Uh, <laughs> let's go. Uh, let's see. Uh, okay, it is going to... Uh, it cannot take a reaction until the end of its next turn. No reaction? No reactions. What if I want a reaction? <laughs> no reactions. Okay. Too bad. <laughs> <laughs> and then that's the damage for that. And then it's the second little punch. is like kind oh of gripping God. wines out of the ground. Yeah, we're, we're keeping that over here. Ooh. And hits? then... Uh, question for the party. Do we think it's wise to make a plant being be prone? I don't know. <laughs> Absolutely try it. Okay. Sounds funny. Okay. <laughs> uh, so he takes that damage and needs to make a dexterity saving throw. Seven. Okay, it's prone. <laughs> I don't know yeah, how that I'm looks. I really thought this thing would be immune to being prone, but it isn't. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> yeah, you're you're punching this plant. <laughs> yeah, I guess it's just like pulling Until it down to the ground by its, you're, its you're body You're like on weight. top of it at this point, just punching <laughs> yeah. down. Uh, <laughs> and pulling off strands of grass and tearing up leaves. Um, it, it, it's honestly hard to tell. That the whole thing has capsized, because uh, it's just plants everywhere. It's, it doesn't look yeah. that much different. But yes, it is prone. We do not condone plant cruelty either. <laughs> End of turn. <laughs> this, uh, you remember to add the extra damage, right? Or... Oh, I did not. No, I didn't do that for any of them. Uh oh. <laughs> Timber. <laughs> so I guess it's the uh, three attacks. It's. Well, is it like plus four it's for each? Four, four, plus four bonus to weapon damage rolls. Okay, so it's, uh, yeah, it's just plus four. Just add four. And that should be it. Oh my god. You have done a number on this plant. Pow, pow, pow. Uh, luckily, it is its turn. Luckily. And it can stand back up. Yeah, it just takes half of its, of its movement. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, uh, as spores are released in an area all around you as the plant is writing itself up, um, I need the three of you plus Talix to roll an intelligence saving throw. Intelligence? Uh, I'm gonna use one of my inspiration dice, I think. Yeah, I think I'm gonna use mine as well. <laughs> this seems like it's a bad time. <clears throat> Can okay. you tell me again what do I have to roll? Intelligence saving throw. Slightly better. Uh, I need a judgment call on this one, Judge. That is a natural 20 according to my yeah. mouse cursor. Okay, great. <laughs> <laughs> I got a 7, which makes it a 12. So, Tekka succeeds. A 12 from a... Very, yep, 12. Where's 12. the die? Oh, it's over here. Yeah. Uh, a 12 fails. And... Mm. Oh, yeah. So it got the... From not Ooh. 1 to not 20. Do you want me to also <laughs> store the die on the shelf along the other one that, that did that, that feat? Uh, yeah, I mean, should be I suppose. In yeah. front of the sunset. <laughs> the, wishful, the wishful thing inspiration goes up on the shelf. Oh, I'll put it on the shelf later. It's I can't reach. It's too high up. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> this is just like real life. You gotta pull out All right, what, what does Brooke have? 16? 16. Uh, 16 passes. Okay, Eight. so the failures, those who have failed are Virion and the dragon. Also, I didn't boop. Um, which means something. 
We'll find out. Oh, oh great. <laughs> um, cool. Uh, how many, how much can he do? Okay. For now, um, let it be known, you cannot take reactions. Cool. Uh, then it's going to slam its limbs on Tekka, because Tekka's been mean to it. True. I need to stop rolling this die, because I think I've rolled like four natural ones thus far. It's going to jail. <laughs> uh, so one is a natural one. The other, though, is a 17 to hit, Tekka? That hits. That hits. Okay. So that's this much damage. Uh, 13 bludgeoning damage. Mm -hmm. And because one attack missed, you are not grappled and eaten. Phew. Um, so moving on to Brook. Brook, you, you, you've, uh, you breathed in a bunch of pollen, and it makes you sneeze. Oh. <laughs> I hate that. It's too <laughs> real. <laughs> very topical. The end of April. <coughs> oh no! I'm gonna try it's to. Too topical. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna try to attack it again. Okay, slashy, slashy. You DM too slashy. hard. Slashy. <laughs> it transcended into real life. <laughs> Damn. 18, to hit. 18 hits. Um, you do still have advantage from flanking if you want to crit fish. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah, I'll fish. Fish, fish. Hit that fish. Everybody fishes. Nope. Okay, so it's still 11 damage. And then the second attack. There is no crim crimson right on your weapon right now, right? Nope. Okay, got it. Uh, 16 hits. Oh my god. Okay. Um, there, there are very. Y you have been chopping down this mound of plant matter, um, like you're reshaping someone's uh, um, hedges, and uh, uh, there isn't a whole lot left that's still holding itself together. Ooh, Is that the like end of that. your turn? That is the end of my turn. Okay, that brings us to the wool dogs. Ah, uh, they're sleeping. They're, they're having good dreams. <laughs> Three out of four, at least. Good for them. <laughs> uh, all right, I'm stuck it. in a nightmare. <laughs> oh well, sorry. The the one that's awake can try to free itself. <clears throat> okay. Uh, Just a strength check. Uh, strength check. Here it comes. Good luck, buddy. <gasps> oh! Oh! Natural twenty. Oh, oh my god. Yeah, this, no. this, this dog bites and claws until it manages to, to get out, and it ends up uh, next to Pontifex. This dog is quite upset. Uh, its wool has turned green from I, rubbing on grass. I kind of have oh, mixed noise. feelings about it escaping. <laughs> 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 now its belly is empty. <laughs> Pip is next. <laughs> squeak. Hmm. Okay. It squeak is, is in a cage. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Virion. Okay. That Virion. Yeah. Um. Virion, I need you to roll a d10. Hey. Cool. Just out of curiosity. This isn't a charmed condition, is it? Does not count as charmed, no. Okay, cool. That's fine. So D10. You guess the effects are kind of similar, but yeah, technically okay. not charmed. Yeah, if it's not if it's not charmed, then it's not charmed. Yeah. yeah. Uh, D10. Rolling. Seven. Seven. Okay. So. Uh, you use your action to make a mill attack against a randomly determined creature within reach. Um. Which is, uh, uh, it just so happens to be 
the mind of power. Uh, but you are not seeing the plants, you are not seeing the statue. Um, Virini, in your confusion, uh, the, these, this, this pollen you, have bre you just breathed in, uh, you're seeing th something else entirely, something from, from your past. Uh, you are currently on your ship. And uh, are you are. Um, uh, do you want to come up with a situation where you're fighting on the ship? You're surrounded by enemies. Uh, yeah. Um, so it's probably on a ship that's probably sinking, and is in like the last throes of attempting to not be stuck on the ship while also getting people off of it. Mm hmm. Um, and just, you know, frantic trying to, again, not be the one that goes down with the ship where everyone else is also same situation. Okay, well, what do you say? Um. Are you shouting orders? I, yeah, she is shouting orders. orders. Um, they're in Elvish. Um, she'll okay. be shouting in Elvish. I think some uh, people... Yes, if anyone else speaks it or I not. Do. Okay. Um, One person. Yeah, so, she, <laughs> yeah, so she's uh, basically, uh, you know, um, oh, get to the lifeboats, uh, yeah, get, get off the off the ship, uh, watch out behind you, there's a uh, um, fire. She'll... A little incoherent. Very frantic. Don't look behind mm -hmm. me. Is there fire? <laughs> there's fire above your head, Brooke. Oh! <laughs> she got some directions mixed yeah, up. Um, you can go ahead and attack. Yes. Okay, okay. Uh, still advantage for flanking or no? Yeah, it's uh, so uh, you're flanking. Okay. Thank you. Um, not with Brooke or Tekka that you can see it. Uh, um, it's your crewmates. And what are you stabbing? Uh um, it would be probably maybe even the, uh, you can correct me if I'm wrong on this one, but potentially like a wyvern, something okay. big. Mm-hmm, that works. I'm going to, uh, mm -hmm. again. 22 hits. Oh, I might crit, so. Yeah. Hits. Okay. Uh, you pin the wyvern's uh, wing to the to the mast behind it. Well. Oh, nice. oh well, that kills it. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. Um. Yeah. The mind of our stops moving in front. In front of you, the, the the wyvern is still quite alive, just pinned. Um, roll another intelligence saving throw. Okay. okay. Eighteen passes. Ah, uh, your vision clears. Um. You're you're back where you're supposed to be. Um, you were just taken over by this vision of your of your past, and you close your eyes and shake your head, and it's gone. Ivirian looks very confused. Kind of recomposes herself though, and that'll be my turn. Okay. Um, what's this boy? Uh, there's nothing in its stomach. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh no, Dang dog. There's all these puppies around. Yeah, <laughs> Eat a it puppy. is literally going to pick up this one oh, good. and put it in its belly. <laughs> I was joking. Take me instead. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I guess that. I guess that means you're lucky. In that regard, but that, 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 that's how it works. It's gonna eat the things that are not fighting back, uh, and smack the ones that are. Um, does does the bonfire do damage when it starts turn no. there? What about the sphere? Is it when it ends the turn? 
they're both when it ends. It's turn. okay. Yeah, we'll we'll get to that then. Um, uh, just just roll for it. Pontifex. Why is Talix out of the initiative order? I don't know what happened to Talix. Where, where is the? Uh... Yeah. The the roll for it was oh, the did somebody... my acid, right? Is that what you meant? Uh, I was asking earlier if it takes damage at the start or end of its turn. When it ends its turn within five feet. Of okay, it. yeah. Uh, so we'll get to that. Uh, I, th I think we accidentally changed the the the, the shape of Talix, which took it out of initiative. Um, so just going through its turn real quick, since I we I, I skipped I skipped it by accident. Uh, Talix. So weird to say Talix. <laughs> mm -hmm. Uh, Brooke, Talix bites you. <laughs> Ouch. It's a 13 to hit. What? Doesn't hit. Okay. Uh, it, it nibbles on your on your long, pointy, fluffy ear. It's a little bit too hard. Um, it actually feels like it was trying to draw blood. Uh, but it, its fangs are so small. It just can't. Oh, he's on my head? Yeah. With I'll you? I'll shake him it's off. With you. <laughs> Throwing him off? Yeah. This <laughs> Just spike it, him into the floor. It, it has lost the head of privileges. Uh, yeah, we'll get to that on <laughs> yeah. your turn. Uh, let's see if at the end of the turn it, it uh, passes the confusion thing. Oh, look, it does! Okay. Alright, okay. So, back to over here. Uh, we're attacking Pontifex twice. So uh, if one hits, uh, I'm going to cast the shield spell regardless of the number. Just okay, hit. that's fine. Um, it is 23 to hit with shield. Oh, it's an 18. It block, yeah. It's blocked. Uh, yeah, yeah, because okay. my, my AC is 25 with shield. Ooh. All right. And the other one is a natural three, which is not going anywhere. OK, um, it does not have its spores back. So that's it. Moving on to Pip. Okay. Uh, uh, now we take the damage from the sphere in a bone fire. Yeah, it needs to make a dex save and maybe a dex save for the other one. <laughs> Are they both dex saves? Yeah. Okay. Um, so on the sphere, I have a one total. Okay, I rolled On the four bone fire, I have a 15. It's four damage. <laughs> Yeah, I rolled a the one in the three seats. <laughs> so four damage from one and none from the other? Exactly. <laughs> we're, we're doing great, Professor. <laughs> <laughs> we're slow and steady, Pip. Slow and steady. <laughs> Pip, it's your turn. Uh, Pip is still in its clutches, yeah? Um, Pip's gonna... Um, Yes, Pip's, yes, Pip is. Pip's gonna mind sliver. Um, so he's got his doll in one hand and just uh, pulls out a little needle from uh, where he had poked it through his clothes for uh, for close grabbing purposes and takes it out and stabs it right in the forehead. And this thing needs to make an intelligence saving throw. 13. That fails, it takes 2d6 psychic damage. And it subtracts a d4 damage. from the next saving throw it makes before the end of my next turn. Okay. Uh, bonus action, once again, is just going to try and push it five feet back. Which is strength. make a strength save. Which is 21. And it succeeds again. <laughs> Don't too big. On the facts. I was just winding up, Pip. Uh, I'm going to give him the goat. Give him the goat. <laughs> I'm going to give him the goat. <laughs> Uh, it needs to make a wisdom save. Uh, and it subtract what? A uh, d4. D4. What save do you say that this was? Uh, wisdom, DC 16. That means I have a uh, 15. Nice. 
I have subtracted four from Pip's thing. Nice, Sweet. the D four made it work. How? Are you? Big damage. Did maybe. work. Or comically small damage. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, that's good. Pretty seventeen. Good. Oh, uh, seventeen necrotic, if it matters. Uh, thank you. Oof, oof. Okay. Nope. Yep. Yeah. It, 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 it matters in the sense uh, that he takes it. And then I'm gonna bonus action smack him with the acid ball again. <laughs> Another dark save. Four. Oh my god! I can't roll these to save my life. <laughs> it takes five damage. <laughs> I don't All know right. if I rolled damage with this orb without hitting a one on one of them. <laughs> All right. <laughs> is that is that everything? Uh, and then Pontifex is gonna move to this side. Uh, Got like, it. Well, the intention is to try to box this thing in so it can't <laughs> get away from all the fire and acid. <laughs> Tekka. Uh, yeah. Tekka's gonna investigate to try to uproot this plant to make sure it doesn't come back up or do something unexpected. Um, you're checking that it's that it's dead. Yeah, making sure that it's uprooted, that it's like not okay. nurturing from somewhere. Right. Yeah. Um, yeah, uh, the the roots are out. Roll an investigation check. Okay. Tekka is not a detective, but we'll see. Okay, uh, tw but twelve is enough to spot a metal key. Um, it's like in in there is this one flower bud right on top of the man devour um that like blossoms upon its death and there is a little key inside oh yeah grab that key uh and i think Tekka's just gonna walk over here and hmm can he hold an action to press the button if Pip is attacked, ah uh, yes. Okay, I think you, that's an interesting. You hover strategy. your hand over the button. Mm -hmm. That's a really and cool wait. thought. Yeah, and then a bonus action to dodge. For okay. That happens. Yep. End of turn. I'm gonna put the mind devour in. Uh, Viren killed it, right? Yes. In your chest. Nope. Rook. You chuck Talix. Um. Mm. And Talix seems sorry. Oh. The silence is deafening. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, did Tekka already press the button? No. Uh, no, te yeah, Tekka is hovering his hand over the button. If you want, you can smack his hand on the button. I'll smack his hand on the button. <laughs> 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 Off you go! <laughs> 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 or you can press the button yourself. Oh, uh, oh, yeah, because it wouldn't take me, right? So yeah. I'll press the button. <laughs> okay. My hand um, goes below Tekka's <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Smash the button. Very close. They <laughs> almost touch, but instead you grab the dragon's hand. Um, the light envelops you, and it flickers, and for a moment you're almost not being moved. But then you're... Uh, it, it's, a, it's a bit of a rough flight, but you end up over here. Let's see. Five... And then 15. Well, doesn't matter. I, th I think I have like 15 movement left. Right. I think you moved 20. Wait, you were here compared to the dragon. You were diagonal. Oh. So then you I have 10 to, movement yeah, left. 20. Mm. Oh no. <laughs> mm. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I guess I'll dash! <laughs> and it's occupied, you have to be here. Oh. Yeah. Alright, that's. Alright, do you turn. step. You, there is a lot of dogs that you're not sure if they're even alive, that you're just like stepping over. <laughs> they are more important people. <laughs> um, 
And yeah, speaking of, uh, this one may uh, act, the other is uh, sleeping. Okay. Well, dog three will try to escape with a strength check of 16? 16 does not pass. Ooh. Dog four will attack. Attack. 21. 21 hits. Wow. Amazing. Um, oh, what do I add? Oh, I gotta scroll down. Oh. I can't Four. stop looking at this chip for just Nine somebody points. punching a house plant. <laughs> <laughs> Nine points That's of damage. <laughs> yeah. Okay, got it. It's starting to, to fall apart. Uh, but there's more work to be done. Aim for squeak, the head! How does Squeak feel about plants? Uh, there aren't a lot that grow in the ocean, and the ones that are are slimy. <laughs> Squeak eats seaweed. More of a fish kind of guy. <laughs> All right, moving on to Talix. Um, who is sad? <laughs> uh, oh. let, 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 let me see. Um, okay. Talix is gonna land on <laughs> Hecka's staff again. Uh, and just digs its claws in it. The Rion? Alright. I'm gonna step forward and, excuse me, pardon me, just slip underneath Tekka's hand there and hit the button. <laughs> All these people <laughs> refusing to touch Tekka's hand. Well, um, he's clearly doing something. <laughs> he's busy. Uh, I, if Pontifex, wants to hold his hand, we can do it later. Pontifex, you are whisked away! We. Oui. And you found Alex! <laughs> oh, hey! <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, well, now you come crawling back to me, huh? <laughs> or flying, whatever. Uh, Viren, you're right in front of this, this plant creature. Stab. Stab? Stab. Just like Stab. the real thing. Gonna reroll one of those. Okay. 17 hits regardless. Oh, good. But a natural. Nope. Oh, never mind. No. You forgot the zero. I forgot the zero. I'll remember it next time. Goofy. Alright. Hi. Right. 14 damage. Pretty good. Slash. It could be a gardener. Uh, I've said uh, a different life. Uh, uh, Pippa, you doing alright over there? Um, hang on, we've almost got this one too. Uh, this has been the worst day! <laughs> Warlord's favor again. <laughs> Heal a a temporary. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> is new best friend. <laughs> Who needs squeak? <laughs> Friendship with the squeak ended. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, is that everything? That is everything. So the bar. Uh, this dog is sleeping, yeah? The one in its belly? I, yeah, I guess so. Alright. Into your treasure oh. chest it goes. Oh, sleeping forever. Oh, sleeping forever. It's okay, it doesn't feel a thing. That's nice. Um, I'm just gonna roll for it. First. Okay, in order. Roll this. Ooh. Okay. All right, uh, everybody surrounding the Soul Devourer needs to uh -oh. roll a Wisdom saving throw. Okay. Uh, as spores go poof. Cloud wisdom? of them envelops you. Wisdom, yes. Uh, let's uh, use the other inspiration I have sitting <laughs> over here. You know what? I want to use one as well. Um, you, you have to press oh. R to roll it. Yeah, mm -hmm. okay. R for random. Oh. 
Does that work? Like you didn't you didn't have to pick it up. Yeah, I'd like that. Okay. Ooh. There you go. There you All go. right, you're good. Minus even worse. Loop. Uh, putting it away. So, um, you uh, uh, oh, the is it nineteen like straight? For uh, Virion? Plus. Plus one. Got okay. it. So yep. twenty passes. Um. Ips was the 16, Squeaks was the 15, Tens was the wall dog. 16 passes, everything else below that fails. You get one inspiration dice for me as well. Which is this one? Yeah. Okay, and Brook fails. So I have uh, uh, Virion and Pip having succeeded, and everybody else fails. Which means that uh, uh, Brook and Squeak taken up. Mm. Can Squeak be unconscious? I think so. Yeah. Okay, it's not immune. It uh, is not. Okay. Then we're gonna grab Brook in here. <laughs> Did I fall asleep into the plant? <laughs> <laughs> you fall asleep forward, yes, and a plant just embraces you. Uh, but yeah, it grabs you, it eats you. Uh, nothing yet to worry about for, for now. And then between Pip and Virion. Uh, it's Virion that is attacked twice. Similar oh. rolls. So I have a 19 and a 20 to hit. I believe both of those hit. Yep. Okay. Which is... 9 bludgeoning damage for one. And 15 for the other. And that's its entire turn. So, Pip... Uh, first, needs to make two deck saves, yeah? Ah, yes, it's the end of its turn. Uh, this is for the fire. Nine. Okay. And this is for the sphere. Three. It takes a whole two points of fire damage. You already halved it? Yep. Okay. Uh, and I need from Matt, from Pontifex the sphere damage. Uh, come on, just do it. <laughs> oh. Five. <laughs> Only. <laughs> okay, five acid. Uh, the leaves are sizzling. Sounds like somebody's burning their stir fry. Uh, Pip, what, what you up to? Uh, mm, great question. Uh, Pip still wriggling in this thing's grasp, uh, sees that Brook has been sucked in and will first use a bonus action to push Brook five feet away from it. <laughs> can you do it on someone who can, you can see? Oh, I can't see him? Mm, oh, he's yeah, totally indeed. like... It's completely... Meanwhile. Yes, it's under complete cover. Oh. If I sleep, I sleep effectively. <laughs> if I sleep, I sleep. <laughs> if I sleep, I sleep. <laughs> if I hate, I hate. If I sleep, I sleep. <laughs> Brooke is just very simple. Yeah. That's crazy. It's a good way to live. Uh, <laughs> then in that case... <laughs> I think it's gonna have to be another mind sliver on this guy. You guys are giving me so many giggles today. <laughs> That's what we're here for. Intelligence save. Ah, yeah. That's what we're here for, the intelligence save. That one. Oh. Banished. Getting another die out. <laughs> Good thing I have infinite dice. Um. Mm, okay, very good. The the entire devour is like waving from side to side. Um, it's like a tree that's about to fall down. Anything else, Pip? No. Artifacts, you're you're here now. 
Uh, yep. Uh, first thing first, before I forget, uh, bunk. Bunk? Come Will on. I pass one of these? 15? No. Uh, no. No. Uh, DC 16. Oh, that's that's better damage. We're getting there. Seven is exactly yep. what you needed. Hey. <laughs> How would you like to do this? Uh, how am I going to kill it? Oh, first, let's have bunk, and it just like melt. <laughs> I think this, it's literally just a floating, like, dripping orb of uh, of wife-melting acid mm. that has been oh. just, like, slowly kind of mushing into this thing and, like, meeting resistance and just eating away until eventually it just kind of like, gets through that last, like, kind of protective cell wall of this plant and just kind of oozes through it and just kind of mm -hmm. like disintegrates it from the base and the stalks just all kind of fall over. Brooke's clothes are sizzling. And, and from yeah. your perspective, it's weird because it's above you, but it's not it's dripping down on you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and uh, and yeah, as soon plant. as it just like melts through. For the, oh, uh, that's dangerous. Uh, and it's, <laughs> I'm going to drop concentration on it immediately. <laughs> that's dangerous. <laughs> and then okay. I would like for my action to seize Talix. <laughs> uh, Talix comes willingly. Then I hold up my hands lovingly, uh, ready to seize him if necessary. Oh, that seems did I, did not trash necessary. Oh, yeah, yeah, you sure did. <laughs> 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 I could, could have been my bag. Matty Winbrook. <laughs> Pip dropping back down to his feet. Uh, first goes and tries to dig in the plant oh, no, to get no. Brooke out. Oh, dear. Oh, 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 watch out! <laughs> Acid ball. <laughs> the melter. <laughs> and then realizing he can't speak to say, Brooke, Brooke, he looks at the cage, sees Squeak sleeping. Squeak goes, me, 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 me. <laughs> and then... Like a kid with a glass jar with like a spider in it, just starts shaking it. <laughs> oh god! <laughs> uh, Brooke, you you wake up. Wait, is he shaking me or is a cage? The cage. Oh, oops, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> <That's it>. Squeak <laughs> wakes up. <laughs> and then does the same thing. Yeah, Miriam will kind of wake up, Brooke. Well, we'll put this way. That's just <laughs> wake up. Just. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think I've got him. Um, she'll just kind of face a little bit. All right, that's that's enough. <laughs> to make him I'm throw up. Wake up! Uh, <laughs> wake up! Wake up! Oh. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I like how he squeak stands on your, <laughs> on your thing. <laughs> we're, we're an acrobatic act. Ah, uh, my face. It hurts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. All right. What's next, team? Is uh, ev is everyone all right? Um, everyone good. Sound mind. Um. What? Are you okay? Uh, yeah. Now that uh, you did the SWAT thing again. <laughs> Shouting. We're not that far away. I can hear you. I mean, unless your hearing is bad, mine is what? fine. <laughs> Does anyone see a key? No, no. Take a hold of key. <laughs> oh, yes. I do see one. <laughs> I'm gonna check this one. Pip, you do the same thing you did with the with the stalagmites before. You just <laughs> claw your way into uh, all this plant matter. It's all it's like compost. It doesn't smell very good. No. Uh, and eventually you emerge, but an appeal on your head and a key in your hand. <laughs> appeal. <laughs> okay. Uh, Pip looks at this thing. Are there like? roots attached to it and stuff to the plant yeah it, it's there's like many roots that go into it but like the Where roots themselves the... are not really connected to anything like if you were to separate them they just come off we're in the moon right 
think so. The moon... The moon's like... When people think of the moon, they think nighttime, right? I mean, typically. I mean, sometimes it is out during the day, but... So... Pip, like, cuts off one of the roots and says, So one could call this a root behind the nighttime shroud? I suppose. I mean, those sorts of things tend to be uh, open-ended, open to interpretation, and I think you are onto something. Yes. Places in pocket. <laughs> and the moment Pip does that, Tega pushes the button. Yeah. <laughs> My turn with the dogs. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what is on the other side. Yep, Taka, you unlock the door. Um, the key matches with this door. Uh, Pip, you can unlock this one. And Professor. both of you... Oh, yeah. Before we go any forward, do these teams seem a little unbalanced to you? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I do feel a little bad for them. <laughs> hey. Smooth. I mean, no, no, uh, generally thinking about it, I mean, it is myself an accomplished. Uh, spellcaster of my own uh, you a surprisingly accomplished spellcaster more than myself in some regards uh, a dragon uh, and a devil uh, and they are what uh, a, a guy who hurts himself uh, a, a guy with <laughs> oh. a cool stick uh, and a boat woman uh, and a lot of dogs uh, that are also yours <laughs> now you know they are really good at hurting themselves using the cool stick and stealing boats but uh, you're Sorry, right, he's a little bit moving forward. <laughs> Pip, you st <laughs> Pip, you stick your head in the doorway. Ateka, you do the same, and you two um, like, can see each other, one above the other, um, as you're like entering into also a shared space. Um, and the... Uh, uh, you, 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 can, you can see one another for a little bit, but then you can see that further up ahead, um, you are split up into two, like, two different hallways again. Um, and you can't really swap positions from where you are, so you can just move forward. Okay, Which yeah, I suppose you we do? move forward with that. Yeah. Oop. Uh, just, yeah, grab everything, including this dog. Um, okay. All right. Um, you progress down uh, your respective uh, uh, tunnels, which begin to twist. Uh, and you, you feel like your your orientation is changing again, and then eventually they merge, and your groups meet up, and you are both the right side, uh, right direction. Uh, you're facing the right direction. The floor is the same for all of you. <laughs> I don't know why that was so difficult to word. <laughs> um, Pontifex, the uh, Italix is trying to. Break free from your grasp once again. You know what? Fine. Yeah. You open up your arms and uh, Talix glides to the floor and then runs up ahead further down uh, where the hallway continues. Uh, and there is... I, I guess the light spell is gone from its... Uh, from the thing on its tail? Uh, yeah, because it doesn't last like a... Okay. Uh, how long does light last? It lasts hour. for an hour. Yeah. Yeah, you you've taken a short rest since you've uh, unless you refreshed oh, it. Uh, Which you might have. Yeah, you had the dragon with you if you wanted to. You could have done it. I don't think you would have. No. 
okay, that's fine. Um, so as a dragon takes off and glides down to the floor and then begins just running, you can hear just a clang, clang, clang of uh, the, the amulet hitting the ground. Um, as Talix goes, um, it turns around a corner and we all chase after it um, until the, the hallway that you're in opens up into a much, much bigger room. Um, you see... You see uh, Talix just leaping on ahead. Um, he It's using its wings to like extend its hops by gliding down at, at the height of its jumps. Um, it climbs up some stone steps before stopping between two massive dragons. And turns around and sits down and looks at you guys with excitement, tail wagging. Uh, the... Oop, I'm just gonna... Oh, press the wrong thing. There we go. Did, did I stop the music? Yes. Excellent. The two beings in this room resemble your new small friend and the various statues you've seen in the dungeon thus far, at least in terms of species. They have a single large horn on top of their head that curves forward and a smaller one on their snout that curves backward, which together form the shape of a crescent moon on their very faces. Their massive bodies are lithe for dragons, with long tails and slim necks. The clusters of spikes along their backs and on their chest, much like their horns, are made of a beautiful glistening gemstone. Uh, this one's the purest whitest color you've ever seen, uh, to the point where it hurts a little bit to look directly at them. The dragons straighten their posture as you arrive, standing on all fours from their sitting position, and they stretch their massive wings, but they do not approach you. In fact, it, is, it doesn't look like they can. They, there, are, uh, there are chains tying them down, wrapped around their limbs, their bodies, their necks, and even the base of their wings, but those don't seem to bind the creatures to anything. The chains simply fade into nothingness at their extremities, clinging onto something intangible and invisible. Most of you have seen the same bindings on the Lady of the Land. That makes you arrive. Sense. Come here. Oh. The dungeon did remind me a lot of this one. Both dragons extend one of the front legs forward, their white shining claws beckoning for you to approach. Uh, the gesture very much resembles the one of the statues uh, with the buttons on them. Tekka will calmly move forward. I'll follow after Tekka. It's Talix. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Talix is here. It will try his best to control the dogs to keep them in a well-mannered... <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> I am like... The dogs proceed in a line, but... In, in an order... Yeah, but they—they are—they're not barking, but they are—they have like their the tail between their legs and their ears are lower. Then they seem a little intimidated. What are you doing? <laughs> they're in order now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, for those of you who are approaching, feel free to move your minis. <laughs> well, look at this. Uh, am I able to read anything? Um, you can see that there are inscriptions on these pillars, but no, the script is not familiar. Okay. Like I don't even recognize it as like a language I don't speak. Mm -mm. Just a recognizable language. Okay. Yeah, just nothing. Uh, the dragons keep extending their claw um, towards you guys, and it, it's almost like like a hand shake motion seems like they're waiting for you to come even closer yep yeah 
Yeah, no, no hesitation. I don't think Gurion's just like, well, yeah. we've been touching dragons all day. What's another one? <laughs> I have a history with dragons. Multiple okay, who, dragons. Who, who's the first one that gets like the closest? Um, Tekka could reach one. Since... Well, sure, Tekka just has like this naturally faster stride. Yeah, I feel like Pontifex is the most enthusiastic, but also the slowest. <laughs> Pontifex is falling lot. behind despite uh, his best efforts. Oh, he, more stairs. <laughs> more <the> stairs. stairs. <laughs> uh, Gosh, these are high. <laughs> um, Tekka, uh, the moment you are within their reach, both the dragons raise their paw and then lower it. Uh, touching your forehead with uh, their equivalent of an index finger. Uh, the moment you do, you feel a change within you. You gain the benefits of a long rest. Every wound on your body heals visibly within seconds. Uh, you feel a light shining upon the dark corners of your mind. Your thoughts become a little less jumbled, and new knowledge pours within you. You also gain one point of intelligence and one point of wisdom. Whoa. 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 Nice. Wow. And you can now understand them as they speak together in unison to everyone else's ears. This is just a roar, but you understand words as they say. <gasps> Humanoids, we are the wind. And the night between the stars, and we welcome you to our home. And that's where we'll end the session. Wow. The professor's gonna have an aneurysm when he finds out. He's <laughs> <laughs> gonna pop a blood vessel. <laughs> You'll never know. Damn. Wow. <clears throat> this is... This has got to be Curiel and Muriel, right? Mm -hmm. uh, if you put yeah. your mouse cursors over them. Oh. <laughs> I was... I mm. was right. <laughs> <laughs> wow. They're beautiful. Oh, look. And Talix is the baby of them. Curiel and Muriel. <laughs> this doesn't make so much sense. They really do have the crescent moon shape. That's so cool. Yeah, that's, really, that's really cool. Yeah. All right. And on this, yeah. I'm gonna uh, uh, spoil dog. <laughs> I'm just gonna go ahead and save everything. And yeah, thank you very much for being here today. Are our troubles starting ne next this week? Oh, yeah. Or, yeah? Who's missing next week? I can't make the next three weekends. Is it just Austin? The next three weekends, I'm good. It's the 21st that I'm not going to be here. 30th? Anyone else missing the, the 30th? Okay, that means we're playing. Me. Um... If only Austin is missing. I'm going to message you because I'm going to need to know a few things for that session. Um, but yeah, the, the rest of us, uh, the rest of you, uh, I will see you next week. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Excited. So All cool. Right. Calling the session. Bye, everyone. Bye. 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 Loop. <laughs>